We've got a bit of a, de- quite bit of a delay going on, haven't Rich, I don't know if everybody else can hear Rich, you're right. But you're, you're quite, quite muffled, muffled to me, too. I'm just going to... I'll just put my mask on the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit muffled. You're a bit muffled, well, Rich. Well, if you can... Um... Are you a dial-up? <laughs> no, I'm on 4G because I'm in the garage and it connects to my Wi-Fi. Connect me router, me extender connects to the house and it's constantly bouncing so, fr- from this router to that router. So he, I've just um, put it on to fr- 4G. Extender. Can, can you hear me all right? T- to be honest, the fact that he's here at all is a bonus. <laughs> the fact that we can't hear him is probably you know every cloud has a silver lining, doesn't it? <laughs> right. Let me let me double check. I am record. I'm recording the Zoom as a backup. Is, is everybody recording their own video and audio, yep, or yep, are no, we just... Yeah, yeah, we we no. well, we, we've given up with that, Bruce. Come on, man. All right. do, be, do be serious. So just you, Rich, <laughs> yeah, then, is yeah, it? Yeah, I'm recording it, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right, magic. <laughs> okay, then. Right, we'll sync all this up. One, two, three. Beautiful. <laughs> Folks, welcome to Brew Time. We got the band back together. Someone pointed out it's a Westlife reunion. I did. I did. The boys. <laughs> was it you? No, I said that someone. Quite witty had, for you, that Rich. Someone had said it's just like Westlife. <laughs> I mean, I've even got a chair to stand up off. <laughs> for the, you know, during Any the key change, you'll start singing in a minute. <laughs> Flying without me. Go on, Rich. Go on, Rich. That, that was actually the song I was thinking of as well. <laughs> It's just nice listening to you, Sam. Yeah, is John are too old to even know what you're talking about? No, no idea what they're on about. You, you, are, you, you two you suck your Werther's originals you in the corner. You have 100% we'll be been to one of their concerts, Andy. I know you have. <laughs> he has, hasn't he? Andy's actually got a T-shirt. I'm sure he has. Either that or a Westlife embossed butt plug somewhere secreted. <laughs> I'm not going to engage in that sort of behaviour. Hang on, just hold it on to Andy's screen a minute. Let me see if there's one there behind him lurking around. <laughs> <laughs> someone's oh, actually I can't hear Rich he's in a terrible mm. the sound quality is awful yeah it is yeah yeah um, someone's commented on that haven't they they've said I've been looking and I've, I've noticed this distinct lack of butt plugs in the background of any of your vids of late <laughs> not looking close enough yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pulled out Andy's ass <laughs> always have one at hand you never know when you might need one genius oh, genius <laughs> right boys um, we have there's over a hundred questions have come oh in, God. so um, a, I reckon we just crack not, on and not, try and get there's not through a chance as, in hell as many we as we those. can. No, I know, no. I know. Um, first off, what tipples have you got? Has everyone got a little tipple of choice? Well, since uh, since I'm on the Bulmers tonight, since I got awesome. smashed, Bulmers. since I got smashed on our last one, Bruce, <laughs> I just treated myself to yeah. a good old English speckled hen. That's it tonight. So that's it. You. What about the whiskey? You told me you had a bottle of whiskey as well. Oh, Glenn Orange as well. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Andy? I've gone. A, I've gone a bit girly actually with a new tipple for me. Some of this stuff. I don't know if you come across it, but it's oh uh, no, Desperado. It's how I feel Mate, when I talk to you lot. It's awesome. It's got, it's got, that stuff it's got, is lethal. It's got You'll t- just knock it back it. and then wake up in a ditch somewhere. Yeah, horrible. It's funny you should say that because it, it says it's got tequila yeah. in it, but it just tastes like lager and lime to me. Yeah, but well, it goes yeah, down yeah. very well indeed. Deceptive. <laughs> don't have too many of them. Uh, I've got some orange juice. So up, sludge. Uh, cheers. Knocking Mrs. Flyer to bits in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> He'll wake up and he won't be able to find that butt plug. Hi, Mrs. Flyer. (laughs) (laughs) Right, gents, um, let's crack on. Let's just crack on with questions and um, see where that takes us. How about that? Let's go for it. Sounds like a plan. Beautiful. Righto. Right, folks, uh, as usual, start off over on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash teapot one. First one. Aaron McCloy, a simple one to get started. What's everyone's plans for next year, COVID permitting? Hmm. Cool. No plans whatsoever. Oh, no, yeah, no. yeah. How can you make plans? You can't, can you? No, nope. it's just been a wish list, list, but uh, yeah, yeah, not, nothing planned for me. That's for sure. Have you yeah, not? We this year, didn't we? I had such great plans for this year, and it all went mm. south, as I'm sure it did for everybody. So, uh, yeah, no plans because we'll just be disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay then. What if, let's just go with, let's just say COVID sorts its life out and we're no longer all going to die. So if that isn't an issue, what's your plans for next year? I Sorry about this, Bruce, but we are all going to die. I'll just, just make that point clear. <laughs> well, you know, but okay. Let's say you, mag- you manage to live through next year. What are you going to do? Bike-wise. Just get as far and wide sure. as possible for me. No, I'm, nobody's I'm, saying I'm, anything right I my plan is I'm going to do the States you what I say I'm craving getting away massively <sighs> mate 
Me and all, mate. Me and all. I've got my fingers crossed for a, mm. a trip to the Canaries in December because that's come off the uh, quarantine list. So Rough. literally that night, managed to get a, a week booked with a couple of people. So at the moment, we're off to the Canaries for a week. But who knows? We'll see what happens. Might be next a bit of overlap there, Bruce. I might see you on the last day. Oh, fantastic. You coming as well, Andy? Brilliant. Well... We're talking about it, so we'll see. I hope so. It'd be great to see you. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely, mate. Yeah, that would be awesome. Nice one. I might see if I can stay a bit then. Um, <laughs> right, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, next year for me, I meant to do it this year, but obviously couldn't. It'll be a tour of the States, India, if I can. And I think that's all What are you doing I in India, bro? India? What's going on in India? Watch I your want... guts, mate. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> I just want to do a week or ten days over there just riding if your, so. if your guts are bad over here are you going to get on it <laughs> 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 talk about a glut definitely, of punishment definitely. Andy I might need to borrow something that you've got <laughs> <laughs> well you lent it to me it's about time I sent it back <laughs> <laughs> yeah that so in an ideal world money and Covid and life permitting that's my plans for next year anyone got anything that they want to chat about or not I don't, set, uh, I don't want to set my well, heart into it. Definitely, let's hope that we all get to Spain because uh, Lyndon needs some love, doesn't he? Because yeah, his business absolutely. is effectively definitely, shut yeah. down for a year. So let's yeah. try and do that for sure. Um, I've also, I'm hoping to get to the US if I can. Uh, again, COVID permitting. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm hoping some of the things that um, were were delayed from this year get to happen. And also, I'm desperate to do some more UK tours. I've just let those... Um, I've not paid attention enough to the sort of local stuff. And there's so much great riding to be done here yeah. if you get the weather mm. right. As my Absolutely. recent Wales tour taught me, uh, mm. I want to get, I want to see if I can get back to the Scottish Western Isles, maybe the uh, mm. Wild Atlantic Way on, on Ireland. That's something oh, we want to yeah. do for ages. So there's plenty Amazing. to do, isn't there? Just not enough time. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's do the Wild Atlantic definitely. Way together. Yeah. That, that could be, that could be a good little challenge ride, couldn't it? That could be uh, somewhere to do rather than doing something like the North Coast 500. That could be a goodie. Yeah. North have, you done the, uh, have you done the North Coast 500, Bruce? Oh, God, yeah, yeah, loads. Yeah. yeah it's great. I, I, I apologise for asking. <laughs> I, I did do it in a day. I did, yeah, I did, I did it in a day <laughs> on one of my vids, yeah. yeah. yeah I was thinking Scott. about that, actually. That I think that's something I might do next year. Get a few bikes, North Coast 500, have a trip round. It looks well worth fantastic. It. Never done it, so I think that could be for me. I'll tell you year, what, 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 a lot of well people planning it. anything overseas because... It's not going to happen, is mm. it? Well, yeah, a lot of well, people gloss, gloss just, over, including me. Um, my last little trip was up to Northumberland. And, you know, it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. North Yorkshire Moors, Dales and Northumberland. Like, I kind of always glossed, like, over it. You kind of go through it to get to Scotland and just think, let's go Scotland. Yeah. But, it, honestly, it was absolutely amazing. And I, I definitely want to be going back there. And, and putting more attention. Funny you should say that, Richard, because Northumberland was on my target list. Uh, there's that. Um, yeah. It's killed the water, isn't it? Out there, you can do that ride That's around it. it. I think we, we we did it well. The the, the it's like a ten mile long track, off road track, not not really an off road track, yeah. but it's it's fantastic. Right through the centre of the yeah, forest. Yeah, I did that. I did that actually on a bicycle a yep. couple of years ago, and it was fantastic. Uh, not sure I'd fancy it on a gold wing, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to on keep the bicycle. Africa twin upright all the way through it. <laughs> you did it on a push bike, Andy. Yeah, it was. Um, I did it with the family. It was great, actually. It took us pretty much all day, and it started to rain towards the end. But it was a really good. But I mean, we thought erroneously that because it was around a lake, it would be flat. Uh, it was very once different. Again. <laughs> that wasn't the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've 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 said this in the podcast before. I've I don't know where it's come from, but I've got this I've got this little inkling to to cycle around the UK. I I don't I don't know where it came from, but. I think it might happen. So we'll see. What, with your trouble? I think you... you, you <laughs> well, yeah, India, I mean... Yeah, and then cycling around the UK, you're storing yeah. up some bad stuff, mate. Well, well try to just buy out some electric cold. bikes, Bruce. You might be all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch this space is all I'm saying. Yeah, watch I've got it covered space. in December. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you can't keep a secret, can you? you can't keep a secret. <laughs> yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Pretty bad, Chopsy. Yeah, that was pretty bad for keeping a secret there. <laughs> right, everyone get a video before him. Everybody. Uh-huh. Uh, right, next question. Dave Moore. To all, and I ask this in the hope of some embarrassing tales, what's the dumbest way that you've been injured on or indeed off a bike? Oof, the dumbest way I've been injured. 
I've got a funny one. Well, I broke. Ooh. Go on, Rich. It's, you, it's, not, it's not bike related. I hope he uh, means that on or off the bike. So not bike related. But yeah. I broke my uh, metacarpal um, a few years ago. A good few years ago now, actually. So I've got a titanium plate in there now. Um, it was quite. <laughs> Completely. Oh, get you, Titanium. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Completely. Still punches like a girl. Um, com- <laughs> completely the wrong person. But I, I were in a pub with my other half, and this fella came up talking to me, saying, "I want to wait outside." I'm like, "What?" Yeah, I, want, I want to chat outside. I'm like, "Okay, fair enough." I went outside, and he's like, "Have you been messaging my mom?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> And I said, mate, listen, ca- calm down a bit. He got full on aggression, you know, big muscles coming out and everything. I said, mate, calm down. First of all, you're about 12 years old, <laughs> which didn't really help him. <laughs> and then anyway, he took a massive swing at me to try and knock me out. And I, I managed to duck out of the way, but he hit, hit me hand, which broke my metacarpal. F- f- <laughs> thought, thought, I was, thought I was sleeping with his mum. Not even me. <laughs> I think we all know the truth. Then you battered him, Rich, did you? <laughs> I just walked away laughing. And going, ah, What, because you were sleeping with his daughter? <laughs> yeah. With his daughter? His mum? His mum? Oh, dear. But anyway, that's it. That's my daft one. Go on, John. Have you got one? Well, I broke my ankle doing a bit of off-road on the supermoto. I didn't know. That was probably the most stupid thing I've done on a bike, anyway. That's, and I managed that's to you, break something. That's your own stupid fault for going off-road. That's all I'm going to say. I know. That's what happens. Especially oh, with the wrong tyres. Don't recommend it with the wrong tyres on. <laughs> Andy? Well, I've got... Um, it's actually a story that um, is from a... Pat- it's kind of two-wheel related in that he was on a push bike. It's a mate I used to work with who actually worked for MI5, but um, I may have told you this story before, but he MI5. suffered something called a scrotal degloving, which has always um, made me wince a little bit yeah. thinking about it. Oh, uh, and basically, he was uh, he'll now never ride a, a cycle without wearing proper cycling shorts. He, was, he went over a bump on his racing bike and basically banged his gonads and uh, and basically the skin on his testicles came off and he looked in his underpants he said it was like looking at a couple of uh, like a couple of chicken breasts out of oh, it sounded absolutely outrageous God. so uh, that's the nastiest oh, thing I've heard of uh, the will injury that was a bit embarrassing what, what was the technical term? You know, to get passers by to help him and show them what was going on so I mean that's pretty embarrassing isn't it what was, well, yeah, was yeah, what's, that? what's the technical <laughs> term again Andy what's it called scrotal degloving scrotal degloving ah <laughs> Ah. Wow. Do you know what I was saying about cycling around the UK? <laughs> Get <laughs> that. Nope. Wear some cycling shorts, mate, and a nappy. Wow. Um, mm. Right, most of the dumbest injury. When I was wee, when I was about 13, 14, I used to, I used to fly radio control planes. Oh, hello. And I started the plane. It. it was great fun. And I started the plane up, and I put my hand on the, the sort of front, the cockpit area to hold the plane. The propeller, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's the next bit. And I brought my, rather than bring my hand up and over the propeller, I brought it straight through and I basically almost took off my thumb and that finger. So I had to go and get it all stitched all back up together. So that's probably the most stupid injury I've had. Actually, on, on a similar vein, now you remind me, I did once catch my drone when I was doing my Arctic Circle trip. I Rather than land it, I decided I would catch it because I thought it catch it. And God, that uh, hurt. What? What? It hit your, you hit your thumb with it. You hit your fingers. Well, yeah. With as it. I as I grabbed for the little body, I've got the Mavic Air, which is quite a small drone, isn't it? And um, yeah. as I brought it down, and I went to grab it. Of course, the sensors move it away from your hand, so I sort of grabbed yeah, yeah. at it hard, and uh, I got all four props in my fingertips, and it destroyed all my fingertips. Oh, it was horrible. Man, and now I don't have to ride like that. Yeah, you're lucky that you blooming kept them intact. Wow. There you go, then, Dave. Um, next one, <laughs> Stephen Gibbons. <laughs> To uh, to you all, other than mobile phone, other than a mobile phone card, what's the one piece of kit you carry with you? I think we've had this before with you all the time that you couldn't do without. Also, uh, when I'm riding on an hour or so in a journey, my palms and wrists start to ache and feel numb. What am I doing wrong? I've weights on the bars, no vibration in bars, and the bike rides very smooth. Well, I think we've already covered the what piece of kit, didn't we? I think the last time we. We covered all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he always has the butt plug, obviously. Um, I f- I okay, so the, riding uh, on a long thing. journey. The pins and needle mm, thing. If you, if you just loosen yeah. your glove cuff a little bit, that seems to help. I don't know if he's tried that. Loosen the glove. Loosen up the, loosen up the cuff yeah. on your glove, uh-huh. and it, it oh, okay. makes it, makes it uh, not as bad. Oh, okay. So. I kind of I like... 
I don't know if, you, if you've ever been in the in the forces when you have to stand at like attention for any length of time and you wiggle your you have to you wiggle your toes just to try and keep the blood going in your feet. Well, I sort of do the same with my fingers as I'm riding. Just relax your grip and just move your fingers around, and that that sort of keeps the blood going. What about you? Or both? take the elastic bands off your wrists. That helps. Or take the elastic bands off. Yeah, yeah. Or just stop and um, mm. shake your hands a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think he's probably holding on too tight, isn't it? You need to be yeah. quite loose on the bike, don't you? He's probably yeah. holding on to the bars too tightly rather than just... Yeah, yeah you definitely got to have a, you definitely got to have a conscious effort to, to try and release that grip a bit. Definitely. So, grip, grip the bike with your he, thighs. He didn't you say what sort of bike it was, does he? Because if it's a sports no. bike, then let's face it, we pretty much all get a bit of uh, arm ache uh, after a yeah. while on a sports yeah, bike. Yeah, you will do, yeah. but, um, And also, maybe he's not gripping the tank with his legs enough because that does That's help it. a lot, I find. When I'm on my Panigale, gripping the tank makes a lot of difference to your arms. Absolutely, yeah. You, you, they all say, don't they, that you shouldn't actually be putting any, you shouldn't be holding on to the bars. You should just have enough, enough mm. grip on it to to give slight input into the bars, and that's it. Unless, unless it's a super duke, then hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the, or that rocket three. <laughs> or the rocket, yeah. Jesus Christ, yes, the rocket. Yeah. There you go, Stephen. Try that, mate. Just try loosening up the grip a wee bit and try gripping the bike with your with your thighs. Mm-hmm. More like a little bit like if you've ever ridden a horse. Grip grip with your thighs and the, your whole top part of your body should be nice and relaxed. Give that a bash. Maybe, see how you get on. Maybe that maybe that's mm-hmm. something we should all have a go at. Horse riding. Just sh- sh- <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Do you know how many people you're are going to go, one, yeah, that's a good you're idea. You're usually like, the one coming up with stupid ideas. For, for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, when I was a young lad, my girlfriend at the time when I was at school, Sandra McIntyre, <laughs> if, um, she was right into horse riding. So I ended up having to go horse riding one time with her. And I'm not kidding you. We turned up at this stable and they brought this... It was like a Clydesdale. This thing was enormous. It was like that horse from Troy, you know, where the whole army gets in it. This thing was enormous. And it just looked at me like, <laughs> I'm going to have fun with you, wee man. I had to get on this thing. And it, it just did what it wanted. I had no control over that thing in the slightest. I think that's the thing. As a, as a I've biker, done a little bit of horse riding. As a biker, you want him to be in charge, aren't you? So you want him to steer it. Yeah. And the horse is, yeah, the yeah, horse yeah, is going... Yeah, I can walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll do what it likes, yeah. <laughs> what was that, John? What were you saying? Uh, I've done a bit of horse riding before. My missus as well, she's actually got part share in a horse at the moment, and she did have up to three horses at one point, so I have actually been you out and done a bit of horse work, riding. I know, I know. <laughs> we, I've done a little bit, and uh, it's, it's not easy. We went out, we, I've never really done it, and she booked us uh, a day's horse riding around Devon somewhere, and my ass has never been so sore <laughs> with a day on the back of a horse. That trip think- around Spain was a piece of cake compared to <laughs> riding a horse for the day. I was going to say, I was going to say, I think there's video evidence suggesting that your ass has been in a lot more pain, yeah. but wow, me okay. Ass, me ass. I'm going to say, hang on a minute, how long has it taken for Chops to start talking about his ass? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Know, yeah. <laughs> 23 minutes, is it? <laughs> I love that comment you made, Chops, on your review of the um, Super Duke R, and you got the seat off and you're like, look, I can just, I can just fist its ass." <laughs> you sure that was the Super Duke? Was... <laughs> what was the horse channel was this? Was oh, oh, sorry, that were, you, yeah. that, were you, that were your OnlyFans channel. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans, brilliant. <laughs> Lamb chops like that. <laughs> right, next one. Proud Darren. to be part of it, chops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got to make a living, haven't you? you got to make a living. Uh, that's it. I cannot believe we've been on here all of five minutes and you guys are already talking about fisting. <laughs> oh, and you had the butt plug out in about the first opening minute. But you were the ones that raised it. <laughs> well, true. It's true. Um, next question. Darren Creswell. Drum roll. Has Dickie Anus turned up? He's here. Dickie hey. Anus. Good man. Good man. He made it. Thank you, Darren. Thank you very much. <clears throat> One for Andy. Mrs. Fly. Only just may I add. What's that? <laughs> I say only just may I add (laughs) one for Andy Mrs Flyer says right enough is enough you can only have one new bike money new object what do you choose and why Oh, I, I love the way that um, that he implies that Mrs. Flyer has to give her approval first. He is, of course, dead right. And and I, I assume um, I assume that implies I can't. I can only have one single bike. I can't keep the bikes that I've got. Is that correct? Um, oh, I think if if you want to keep one of the ones you've got, then fine, as long as you can justify it. Right. Well, I mean, if I can only have one bike, it's an obvious answer, Bruce. You know the answer. It's got to be a GS, isn't it? Super it's the Duke. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the GS. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it. Yeah, Simple def- answer. A GS. Definitely. It's got to be that. And she would approve of that too. I, I kind of agree with you, yeah. If it's if it's for, an, obviously, I, I've got to say that. If it's an all singing, all dancing bike, absolutely. If it's a shits and giggles, super due car for me. Yeah, but if you if you can only have one bike and you've got to do everything on it, I was going to say ride to work and stuff, but you don't do that anymore, do you? Then, uh, then ride the super car might not be good. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> that'll be all right. That'll be all right to commute. <clears throat> it's just things like. It's just things like for that odd, horrible time when you actually have to come off tarmac and do stuff in that sticky, horrible off-road shit, then <laughs> the GS will allow you to do that. <laughs> and and if you want to, if you have to do six hundred miles or a thousand miles in a day, then it's reasonably comfortable and easy to do it on something like the GS. So, couldn't agree you, John? more. Couldn't agree. What would more. you go for, John? Yeah, it's a tough one. It, it wouldn't be a GS. <laughs> it wouldn't be. A, it could be the uh, Super Duke GT. No, you mm-hmm. could be. You could be talking there. So I think it probably would be if it was to do everything on. Yeah, I think it'd be the Super Duke GT. To be honest, uh, yeah. I, I did. I did love that bike as a as a do everything thing. It's only no. it's only slightly less engaging and fun than the, than the whole full fat Super Duke. I thought. Yeah, and there's yeah, a new yeah. one next year, I believe, That's, which could yeah. be even closer to the new R. Ooh. So. Does that do off road though? <laughs> well, you know, he said That's about going thing. off road, but you hate off road. You say, "Oh, the GS, just in case I come across a bit." Of... How often do you? You don't even go off road on it, so you don't. You can just outrule the whole off road thing. You, just, you, you might have to eat yeah, your you once you very, very soon. Very soon. Well, having the option taken yeah, away from yeah, you, but not, not often <laughs> enough to have a bike for it. I could live without that. I could live without that. Can't we all? So it's a nightmare <laughs> game. I'm with Bruce on that. <laughs> what about you, Rich? No, I, I, I love. I love just being able to. You know, I prefer on road, but I do love being able to just nip off piste for a little bit. Just you know, having that option to do yeah. it without having to worry about it. So you know how much I love the Africa yeah. Twin. So probably the Africa Twin mm. or a GS. Yeah, I mean, perfect bikes for road riding, perfect bikes for off roading. Just in case you fancy it. Oh, and they look okay. Both of them look amazing. The Africa Twin, DCT or standard transmission? DCT, hundred percent. Without Would question. Would you? No worries, Andy. Yep. See, I. <laughs> I can see, I, I like the DCT in certain situations, but like uh, there's others in the really tight nagery stuff, hairpins and that. It, <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't like the way the DCT, even if I used the old paddles, say I, mm. I've used the paddles and I've gone in second for a hairpin, sometimes as I would mm. whack the, the, the throttle on, just as it's go, like an uphill tight hairpin, it would decide, no, you're not in second, you're going for first, and it would drop it to first, and it would like, unsettle the whole bike. I just, mm. I didn't like that. But doesn't it just take <clears> half just, the fun I, and the engagement out of riding a bike, having an automatic bike? It's just one, one of the reasons I don't, I don't think really so. like electric bikes, because there's no gearbox, and it's just like... It is, I mean, it's old school, isn't it? You, you, you shouldn't comment until you've tried it, admittedly. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. Uh, that, 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 when you're yeah. spanking that DCT, it's so engaging. You know, when, when you're slotted in with it, and I always have it in, in Sport 2 or 3, which holds the gears a long time, yeah. but I also am constantly yeah. interfering with it, with the paddles. So I always like, you yeah. know, I'm like one step ahead when it comes into corner, so I drop it just before we go in. Uh, and it never it never does anything I don't want it to do, but I've probably, because I've had it for such a long time, and I think I've had it for about four years, but don't tell don't tell Honda UK. Um, I think I've had it for about four <laughs> years now, so uh, I, I absolutely love it, and I'm so, fully, like, locked in with how, how the gearbox is. I love it. So I think it's just one of those so things you've got to spend like, some time It's like with. a quick shift and a blipper almost, then. so think of it of. like a quick yeah, shift and a blipper definitely. more than an automatic, so you're still banging it up yes, and down when you yeah, want to yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So the, 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 you've never ridden with a DCT gearbox? No, no, never. No, not tried well, it. It's you, never you, appealed, you, so I haven't, so I need oh, to try it. You've got to try it. You've got to try it. Yeah, it didn't appeal to me, but you've got to try it. The DCT itself... I'd love you to be a convert on that, Chops. The DCT itself, like the normal drive and the sport mode, I just, I just didn't like. I did the first ride in that, and I hadn't, I didn't know about the S two and S three because I didn't, I didn't do that online tutorial thing that Honda give you to do. Mm. So I, I was like, I don't need to do a tutorial before I go you and do, ride a bike. Before you ride the Africa Twin, you do, don't you? You ain't got yeah, to yeah. otherwise. Well, I, I didn't. So, <laughs> I, I, like in my first ride review, I'm watching it now, having having had the bike for like four or five weeks and and taking it away and enjoying everything it does. I, I'm editing the first ride review, and I'm like, even I'm screaming at the screen, going, "Put it in S two, <laughs> put it in, use the paddles, exactly, exactly yeah, because oh, it's it drive really is, is ridiculous." 
Yeah, dry, it's just it's dry, a squib, it's it's a damp squib of a bike until you until you put it in S two or S three, and then when you find the Triptronic yep. paddles, that's a game changer. But it's still it will still mm. butt in sometimes. I didn't I didn't like that in the tight stuff, mm. and I didn't like the big twenty one inch front wheel either. I just I couldn't get used to that. Didn't didn't I didn't feel totally mm. connected with the road. You know, it's just something I just, yeah, you said I just that, didn't like. It's a good bike. The fact but, that you need an online yeah. tutorial to ride the yeah. bike. Uh, for me, the Africa Twin is a great bike, but it was better in its previous incarnation before it went nuts with all that electronics. That just spoiled mm. it for me. Yeah, I think, well, I've, I've ridden I've ridden the previous carnation and the, and the manual over in Slovenia with with, um, uh, with Canary Moto Tours over there. And for the first ride, didn't really like it. Thought it was too soft, too wallopy, a bit gutless. But I really got into it after a while, and I, I really started to enjoy that that sort of big. It's a V twin, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Africa twin. V twin, yeah. Yeah. Um, was it an L? <laughs> yeah, it's a V or an L? No, yeah, no, the, yeah, the yeah. New one's a parallel. It's a parallel, isn't it? The new one's parallel. a parallel. You're talking right. about the. I think the original's a V, isn't it? But the new one's a parallel, isn't it? Yeah, this is a 2018 model. I think it yeah, was. They had parallel, parallel. Yeah. Then, yeah. But it, was, it, feels, it, was it feels more twin like than the V Strom, which is a twin. It's such yeah. a with that oh, yeah. pulse, you know, that uh, cross plane. What's it? It does feel very, very V twin like, doesn't it? Technical cross plane. What's it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's what they call it. <laughs> I love it. Right, next one. Jolene Darren Edwards. Ah, it's Bronson. Hey guys, uh, Bronson here. Hope you're all well. We all hear your thoughts on the different bikes you try, and you always say fun can be had on any size bike. I love mine for the speed, as it is my toy. What are the reasons for your own choice of bike? The ones that you actually pay for. Good question. What was that last bit, Bruce? Um, what's What's the reasons you you have the bike that you have, the one that you've bought yourself mm. with your own money? Why did you go for that <clears> specific <throat> bike? Who's first? Andy, so are you ready to? You've got about nineteen to choose from. Yeah, I, I can go for it. I, could, I don't want to hog it because I've got uh, a few bikes. But the, for, in my case. Um, I like all bikes, so um, I don't get this prejudice of people that don't like Harleys or don't like GSs or whatever, yeah. uh, or scooter That's riders. A, it's a weird thing. So, um, when I bought my bikes, and I've currently got five, um, one less than recently, um, I wanted to kind of cover all the bases. So, you know, I wanted to get an off-road bike, my CRF. I wanted to get a, uh, you know, retro bike. I got the Speed Twin. I wanted the GS for touring. Uh, I wanted a sports bike, so I got the Ducati. So that was kind of, that was just me trying to make sure I was covering all the bases, just because when you first get into riding, you don't necessarily know what style of riding you're going to really like, do you? So I want mm. to try them all. Uh, and no. also, to be completely honest, I was starting my YouTube channel. I want to make sure that I um, you know, attracted a potential audience. And uh, it's great because by having those different types of bikes, I have kind of learned the sorts of bikes I like and I don't like. So, um, you know, yeah. in the next few years, I might be yeah. honing the collection down a bit. Couple of mm. things there, Andy. You were actually looking down them to read what bikes you had then for a moment. I'm sure you're actually <laughs> reminding yourself what ones you actually owned by, no, by not, reading. Not them. true, not true. <laughs> well, it's, it's right, isn't it? I mean, you don't just to have one bike is so hard because you need a you know, no bike can do everything, can it? As, as we've discussed, so you really need one for each sort <clears> of yeah. genre yes. of, of what you want to do. So, yeah, it, it's really difficult. I bought the H2 because it was just a good price and I loved the bike and I just happened to have some money available when it came up and it was cheap and, you know, it's something which you think, well, I'd never can afford something like that again. It could be a future classic, even though I won't do many miles on it. It's just nice to have something special. So, yeah, that's, that's why I bought that, really. And plus, nice I wouldn't have bought that if I wasn't in the opportunity with the YouTube stuff to buy lots of other bikes as well, you know. So if, if mm. I didn't have the YouTube thing, I never would have bought that as my only bike because it would be crazy. <laughs> Is well, that are you your rich? bike then, Chops? I didn't realise you only had the one. This well, I've got one which is in a million pieces. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a frame yeah. up there, there's an engine here, and there's, there's a couple of wheels in the back there. So I've got that one, of course. But, I remember uh, I enjoyed that series you did on that, and uh, I remember commenting on your video that uh, it was great you stripping it all apart, but I didn't fancy you putting it together again. And uh, lo and behold, we've not seen the videos you put together. Every, every single yeah. video I post that, I must have five or ten comments saying, yeah, that's all very well, but where's the Ducati? Yeah, <laughs> every yeah, every yeah. single video. <laughs> I'm just awaiting I've the heads. I'm awaiting the heads from back from Twan, who's doing the porting. He's been ill. He's not been able to do it. That's uh, so. all very convenient, isn't it? <laughs> I just not been able to do it. You know. I'm itching to get it, in there again, but uh, I've chased him. He definitely makes me feel sick, soon. Chops, when I see that. 
Sorry, What's that? Rich? It definitely makes me feel. It definitely makes me feel sick when I see you doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, stop it, just stop it, <laughs> <Don't get laughs> just leave it words. alone. <laughs> What's inside there? <laughs> There's a YouTube channel. What's inside? Where they just rip everything apart just yeah, for the yeah. sake of it. That's chops. What does this do? It's when I was removing yeah. the heads off the Ducati with the chisel, wood chisel. I got a few comments from people. <laughs> Genius. Oh dear me. What about you, Rich? No, well me. F- me for my bike, mm. obviously the VFR. I'm just, it just, I feel part of it. It feel, uh, you know, it's it's perfect for me, absolutely perfect. Every single time I go on it, even now after playing on all these other newer, fancier, faster bikes, it still feels every bit as special as it's ever done. So, but what what you know, drew not to you to the, the VFR? I've done on it and where I've been on it. So, what what drew you to the VFR um, initially? I, well, when when I, when I when I first passed my test again, what Andy just said, when you first start, you don't really know what kind of bike you like. Mm. Or what kind of style of riding you like? So I remember speaking to a friend of mine saying, "What kind of bike should I have?" Um, and he said, "Well, it depends. Are you, are you thinking like one piece race leathers around a racetrack?" Or I said, "No, no. I, I want something that I can go to Spain on, that looks nice and is fast if I want it to be fast." And he just said, "Start having a look at VFRs, the VTEC VFR." So I started looking at it, and the more I looked at it, the more I fell for it. Yeah. And that's really as easy as that. And then, and then you know, just over time and the places that I've taken it. It's just a, yeah, it's just a very, very, very special. It just bike, it definitely. just shows you though, Rich, doesn't it? How um, you don't have to have the latest and greatest. And I've had the great privilege of riding your VFR, and it's a lovely bike to ride. And I've ridden a few older bikes of late this last year, and uh, they've yeah. all got great character yeah. and charm. And it makes you think that actually, yeah. the latest and greatest, a lot of it is just it's just marketing, isn't it? And uh, you know, through all the second hand yeah, um, adverts, one of the things I'm thinking about doing actually, one of the things I'm yeah. thinking of next year is try maybe clear out the garage a bit if I can and make some space, and then just use a bit of money to buy an older bike live with it for six months and get to know it then churn it and get something yeah. else and, yeah. and do that as a bit of a series because i'm convinced that actually you know 95 mm. of older bikes are just as good as the new ones are yeah uh, you definitely. don't have to be spending yeah. 20 grand here for a new bike p- 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 no no but that's 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 like the norm now isn't it mm. it's like the norm is to spend 20 grand on a bike when like you say you could spend two grand and have an absolute belter for a long long time yeah and, you know, and that's you sort, don't need the, the the fanciest things. Yeah, it's a sort of it's definitely a criticism I've seen in the comments of certainly of my own vids when I do the bike reviews. It's people saying it's all well and good mm. doing these bike reviews on these new expensive bikes, but what about bikes that you know normal people can afford? All this sort of spiel. It, it's yes. great. It's just really hard to get on yeah. used bikes, though, isn't it? Because yeah. you, if you borrow other people's bikes, there's the whole insurance thing. You know, if yeah. you were to come off their bike, you may yeah. be insured third party, but if you were to come off or something, it would just be an, yeah. an absolute mm. nightmare. nightmare. I just it's getting it. access to them. You know, I think yeah. it, I'm with you, Andy. I mean, I've ridden a lot of older bikes. I've got a couple of older bike sort of reviews coming up as well. Mm. And it's lovely when you do ride them. And it, it does remind you that how good they are, you know. It, it, mm. it, you better buy your word about which is 20 years mm. old and you think, really, this isn't that much worse than you know, a brand yeah. new bike, you know? No. So, no, exactly. There's a lot in it. Exactly that, Chops. Yeah, people people like people like turn their nose up at like 20,000 miles and you think, what? My, mine's done like 90,000, still yeah. feels as tight yeah. and as precise as it's ever done. So, oh, you, you know, it, it doesn't about feel, one, times, doesn't feel it? one bit dated. It's like Trigger's broom, isn't it? Not the engine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no, not, 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 I've not touched the engine. Not, I've not touched it at all. Just had a few electrics changed. That's it. Yeah, I think it's the, the engine not even been. Eight hundred is is an, you know really. That's a bike I've never ridden actually, and I think it's no, might be one of like the most overlooked bikes in in motorcycling. Yeah, and they're mm. so cheap to buy, aren't they? About a couple of grand, you can get what looks like a decent VFR yep. eight hundred. It is, you know, it is a classic, yeah. and that's definitely having ridden Riches, which was great. It sounds absolutely lovely. Mm. It's is it? It's a V four, yeah. isn't it? And it's V four, um, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds V4, amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, again, I had a look in the classifieds after riding that, and, and like you say, you can get them at mm. bargain prices. Brilliant. And, uh, so that's, Brilliant that's price, yeah. top of my list to get one. Right. Every single time I do a video on it, I get comments on the sound of it. Every single time, without fail, and it just you know it does sound lovely. And uh, you, you kind of forget when you're riding all these other bikes, you do kind of forget just how nice it sounds and how smooth that V4 yeah, is. It does sound good you in, know, it's in the vids, man. It's, it does. it's a real pleasure. It definitely mm. does. Right, cheers for that, Bronson. Um, Bronson's also he's asked a second question. I'm going to mention it purely because of um, the fantastic nickname he's given you, Chops. Second question for Paul Hollywood. <laughs> That's you, Chops, here, allegedly. <laughs> Your build series on Beastie influenced me a lot to custom build my ZX-10R, and I was wondering if you have any more ideas to do something similar in the future instead of just restoring some of your purchases. 
Yeah, good question. I, I would love to do something like that, but it's room, it's, it's space. You know, you need a proper workshop to do. Yeah. When I did that, it was the only bike I had, and I had like that work the tools set up. Yeah. You know, pillar drills. It's, I just don't have room for that now with all the bikes I've got to squeeze in here at times. Yeah. I'd love to build uh, some sort of workshop in the back garden and tackle something like that again. I actually rode that bike again the other day, and it was quite nice to, to ride it again. And I quite fancy restoring something now. Maybe not butchering something and completely changing something but just buying something mm. like an 80s 90s bike and just going through it all and doing like a restoration on it that, that's what i mm. really fancy uh, i'd love to do that moment. and I, i'd like to do a bsa yeah. actually for some reason ah. i've just got to think about them <laughs> nice yeah how do you find the time chops because i mean like your output your work output is pretty damn astonishing really it's pretty much a full-time work output that you're putting on but you actually you and rich both have proper Allegedly. jobs yeah that, <laughs> that you do alongside this but i mean your channel is flying and the content i'm not i'm not saying the old stuff w was bad in any shape or form but there's a definite step up in your editing and your production value so and that obviously takes a lot more time how the hell do you fit it all in uh, yeah, thanks, Bruce. Appreciate it. I didn't say the production value stepped up. No, it definitely not, has. Not, definitely has. Well, well, maybe I, I wouldn't just... agree. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, uh, I'm quite lucky. You know, my day job is a job where I work from home. Hmm. And in my day job, they don't know I do this whole YouTube thing, which is good because I'm not under the scrutiny, <laughs> as per yeah. se. So, uh, you well, know, I done haven't it been now. caught. I haven't been spotted. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. I'm right. But, Some um, jobs worth. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it, it's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. And you know, he's, you're a, right. he's a Ronald McDonald standing. That's why nobody's recognised him. Yeah, I've had a fancy dress on. I'm fine. No one recognises me. But yeah, it's it's tricky. And I must say, it's reached a point whereby it, I, I could be compromising my day job a little bit because I'm hmm. spending probably too much time on the YouTube <laughs> stuff now. Uh, you know, it, it, it is getting to that point whereby. I want to really do something a bit more serious maybe with the YouTube stuff and that's my end goal you know perhaps mm. even drop to three mm. days a week with a day job and spend a couple of days dedicated yeah. to the YouTube stuff so that's my goal I'm trying to build it up and keep going at it but it's becoming the point where it is getting really difficult trying to do both yeah yeah well, you're on a definite roll mate it's flying good on you prick <laughs> 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 yeah, you say that though but it's not really it's sort of it's always been very stable you know there's no it's, it's sort of going it's constant like growth that, mate, you know? so, it's constant you know, growth yeah there's no there's no peaks in there's no good. troughs mm, it's just yeah. constant growth yeah well that's that's the thing about this youtube game is it that a lot i think not a lot of people realize it, it's just a long slog and uh, mm. i mean it's good don't get me wrong i, I love doing it but i mean people mm. that uh, maybe recently subscribed and think well how come he's got 180,000 subscribers he's a bit rubbish i've been at it for long so mm. you know it just it just it just takes a long time and not that many people stick at it for that, that long do they mm. yeah. and then you it's see perseverance isn't it but there are channels out there that literally just come out of nowhere and all of a sudden they've got, even in the biking world, they come out of nowhere and within like six months, eight months, they've got massive subscribers. And you're like, Jesus Christ, how did that happen? But, yeah, uh, but it depends what you want to do, doesn't it? No, it's, yeah, um, yeah, it does. Uh, those, I don't know which channels you're referring to, but I can think of a couple that have gone massive in the last year. And um, one of them I'm a massive fan of and um, it's absolutely brilliant. And I can understand why her channel has gone very well, but it's something that I personally couldn't do because of circumstances. And mm. the other one, uh, great though it is, uh, is not something that I actually would want to spend my time doing. So it's, mm. it's a balancing act, mm. isn't it? I, I, oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure we all got into this for the same reason. We just enjoyed doing it. And it mm. still, to me, yeah. feels like a hobby, even though it's now a substantial part of my income and I mm. do do it full time. But yeah, uh, yeah. I primarily do it because I do love doing it. And uh, if I just went down the route of doing it for growth and views, I might be filming and doing stuff that I don't necessarily enjoy. And that would uh, absolutely. That would yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right, next one. Uh, it's all about the audience at the end of the day. It is. Loyal, it's all about the loyal audience at the end of the day. Yeah. That's all I care and about. And I think you and I, we, we've, we're we similar on our channels, Rich, I think, because we both go for the, the sort of trip, the sort of long form, yeah. the cinematic-y type stuff. And yeah. with the best will in the world, most people don't want to sit through that, you know? So you, you get a very core... Yeah, I know, yeah. 
It's never, like it's never going to get you massive who views, but it's going to get you. No, yeah. exactly, exactly. Your core base, your core fan base, definitely. Like that, our little series yeah. that we've just done, the Big Little, for instance. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> they're never going to garner like massive views, but the audience, mm. the the amount of comments that have that I've had, and I'm sure you've had, that have that's absolutely made people's day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, made yeah. people smile and made people because we just you know three big daft airy ass blokes riding these tiny little bikes and having the time of our life yeah. you know and go, that's going back to that may, maybe you should do reviews of bikes that are, that are affordable to other people yeah definitely you know, and that's, it's, I know it's not exactly a, a bike review but you know we did a full trip mm-hmm. full tour if you like on, on these tiny little bikes and it was just fantastic well I've done it's a few on the 125s really. now but again it's, it's not going to do a million views but it's going <clears> to no. it's going to make someone smile that's, yeah. the, that's my point well, I think I've done it a... depends it depends in the case of Rich I don't know what your plans are with your channel but um, I don't I get the impression that you want to do this as a full time make your living sort of at it so fair enough all powered your elbow keep doing what you're doing in the case of mm. Bruce that's obviously made mm. that leap to go full time then there's an argument I think to do a bit of a mix of stuff mm. so of course do the tours mm. but also do the reviews as well and yeah. I know you do do that but uh, mm. I mean we all four yeah. know how to get massive views you just mm. get onto you know mm. press releases and um, you know you do a tri- yeah. Trident video uh, at the point that the embargo <laughs> lifts and bingo you get a load of views so you know there's, mm. there's room for all of that isn't there but it's a matter of whether you want to do that yeah. all the time yeah 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 mm. how are your vids doing by the way you're trying. I have no idea. I'm trying that closely. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got he's got his view count up right in front of him now on the screen, isn't he? Li- li- it? Live view count, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Every 15 seconds is updating. <laughs> I'm going to check it now. You are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Next one, Paul Foster. <laughs> Hi to you all. I enjoy all your yeah. channels. Cheers, Paul. Uh, I love Richie's big little Thank adventure video. As I said, the funniest thing I've watched on YouTube. My question is for TMF. Watching a few of your videos it looks as if you, it looks as though you are wearing skinny jeans why <laughs> why not why not it's uh I, I think i detect a little bit of jealousy there don't i he loses a bit of weight maybe to so, look mate. he's maybe in skinny so. jeans God. i'll tell you it's don't knock it I, I i haven't uh the reason why you wouldn't see me in skinny jeans are because i'm in my bike ones which aren't that skinny but the rest of the time i was he should think himself lucky i could have been in my grid girl outfit <laughs> You're bored hey, out, man. Hey, mate, fit, <laughs> properly fit inside that that outfit, definitely. <laughs> in fact, the same. In fact, the last time the last time we met Andy was um, in uh, Covent Garden, uh, right back before all this crap kicked yeah, off. That's when we, well, that super and spreader t- event t- we were at. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. TMF ro- rolls in with the like looking like the milk tray advert, <laughs> and I'm like, he's actually really fit. <laughs> <laughs> you would. <laughs> I'm like, I, w- I would, I would. <laughs> I'm not proud. What is the spreader event? I've got all sorts of images which I probably shouldn't have. What's the spreader event? It involved a big ball and a lot of keys. Yeah, nothing, yeah, no, yeah, nothing to do with nothing to do with the virus. You understand the spreader event? Not, not that virus. Yeah. Um, right, Roger White. How you doing, Roger? To each of you, you have to be in Monaco within the next 24 hours. Apparently, it takes 13 hours by road from Cali. Google Maps says you have we all your bikes. From Walton. <laughs> you have all your bikes at the port of Calais, including any loan bikes in your garage. They are all full to the brim, roadworthy, and shiny clean. Whose other bike would you take and why? Bearing in mind, once the bike has been taken by another, you cannot select it. Also, you cannot choose any of from your own garage. This is very complicated. It is, right. Starting yeah. with the oldest I, of you beautiful I, I, four, s- leaving the youngest sorry, to choose Roger. last. Right, so <laughs> age-wise, who's the oldest? Oh, I am by Country Mile. Right. How old are you, John? I'm 40, 49 next month. Right, so it's you. Month. How old are you, Rich? 43. Oh, I'm second, baby. second youngest. Baby. I'm, I just I was 44 last week, so now... Hey, right. happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you very much. Andy, yeah, you. Quiet, didn't he? I did. Yeah, I'd have to buy beer otherwise. Right. Um, mm-hmm. So, Andy, you can have any loan bike you've had and any of the bikes in any of our garages, but none of your own. Which any, one do you any take? Any loan bike I've had or currently have. Ooh, I think it's... I thought it was, it wasn't it just one of our other bikes? Oh, so some, yeah, one sorry. Of our, one of our bikes that we've got, that's between us. You've got to choose one of the bikes we've got between us right, to do. Right, right, yeah. got it, got it, got Inclu- it. Okay. Including Inclu- any loan including bikes the, that we have Including the press the bikes. Right, that's easy then. I'd have your uh, new GS, Bruce, because that is the bike to go down to Monaco on, isn't it? So that's that off the table for you. That's for me. Thank you very much. Bastard. Right. John. 
I think hard average is VFO 800, actually. I'm quite, I'm quite tempted by it now. I've never tried one, so Ooh. I think I might give that a whirl. Put another couple of thousand miles Fantastic. on it for him. <laughs> yeah, maybe, no wheelie, problem. See if I can no wheelie. problem. Yeah, 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 definitely. He'd just be crying in, in the corner, in, in wouldn't he? Like, you'd, you'd just deflowered his wife. What? No. Um, no. Even, <laughs> even though I've not ridden it yet, I want that Rocket 3 that you've got, Rich. It just looks a hoot. Oh, I mate. forgot about that. I forgot about the bloody I, rocket. Didn't I, I, I know. I, I'm not sure it's a long distance. I know. Bike, I know. Though, we've all ridden this bike. But, oh man. Andy, have I mentioned that I rode around the world on a jigsaw? Have I? <laughs> I'll be <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> That Rocket Three, I would happily do that trip you on can't, Rocket I've Three. Got it, it is incredible. Move on. But I know, I know you've got it. I'm going to go for. Uh, I'm going to have to go for for Chopsy's H2 just because I've never ridden one and oh. I want to see what it's like. Oh. He's only saying that because he knows I'll be on the VFR, isn't he? So he's a monocle. Nice. So he'll be doing <laughs> yeah. he'll be doing stuff to my bike. What? What? Yeah, that'll be about comfortable. What I would around, recommend come that, Richard. <laughs> you would be in agony by the time you got there. But you would have been there about four yeah. hours before we got there. Yeah, yeah good point. <laughs> I don't know, Chops. I reckon you might give him a run on that VFR. <laughs> <laughs> What's a top speed on six in that one, Rich? About 70, I think. Yeah. <laughs> first gear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. Okay. Paul Benson, next one. If, say you were riding along minding your own business and you were ambushed by the Spice Girls or the Backstreet Boys and they threaten to take your bike or you have to face a full hour's rendition of their hits, would you give up your bike or put up with their sickening racket? Well, to be honest, I'd have the Spice Girls singing in front of me, no problem. I know, I mean, it's outrageous. Hey, it's, I, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Forget, I'll just have, um, yeah. what's uh, what's the name? Not Sporty one, the other one, the uh, Scary one. She I, scary. I scary. like Sporty. I've got to say, I do like Sporty. Yeah. <laughs> Blimey. Are you sure about yeah. I, 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 that? I always had a thing for Jerry, especially when that page three spread came out. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, when, yeah. when at the height of the fame and that spread came out, as a little lad, I was like... <laughs> oh, as a little <laughs> lad. I've looked, at, I've looked at that a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably, it's as they are now, though. In which case, all the Spice Girls, bar Scary, are uh, not not so good. I mean, you know what they say: Sport, you never look back. Sporty yeah. looks better than ever now. She looks amazing. Actually, actually, I'm, I'm with you on that, Bruce. Actually, she mm. does look fantastic. Definitely. Yeah. This is going sa- this is going really south, isn't it? John- I'm going to even it up by saying the Backstreet Boys are fantastic musicians, fantastic singers. I'd happily sit and watch that. I was just going to say, John's keeping quiet because he's going to go Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, Look at my t shirt. <laughs> He's got a poster in the garage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right, David Munsar. Brilliant. I look forward to hearing uh, you all in full Brunus. I asked this last time, so I'll ask again. If Dickie writes a song for you all to perform, which instruments would you each play? <laughs> wow. Uh, the triangle because I can't play anything. <laughs> yeah, <Ding. laughs> I would uh, I would go for the anal kazoo because it's uh, it's both a challenging instrument to get the correct timber out of, and also wow. it's uh, it's uh, if played by the right person, it's quite it's quite a watch. So that would be me. Uh, That'd be interesting to hear the key <laughs> change on that. Watch. Wow, the anal kazoo. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd choose the drums just because I can't play the drums, but I would love to give it a bash. This is, uh, and the drum. Wait. So you can sing. <laughs> bum <Bu-bum. laughs> You yeah. can imagine the noise that they would make should... with Chops on the triangle, me on the anal kazoo and you on the drum. It's, it's not that tuneful, is it? And Dickie Vegas in the background great, singing. Great song. <laughs> Right. Oh, it could be wild bad, wild bad weekend next year, isn't it? I, th- I, th- I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, David even gave you the band the name it. Dickie and is. the Vloggers. Yeah. <laughs> right, next one. Jacques oh, Wood. What are your funniest rental car or rental bike stories? Cool. That's is such any... a bizarre question. It's like saying, it is. what's your funniest <laughs> house brick quest urban story? <laughs> Have you ever r- written off a rental car? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Or is that a I yes? You have them, Bruce. Have you? <laughs> no, no, no. I've not. But you know, you hear about you be, hear about these people that go on like press launches and stuff and write off blooming rental cars and stuff. Just, I'm sure Sean Pope has. He must have. He's probably next yeah, one. I, I was just gonna. 
I was just going to say, uh, old Sean Pope's probably definitely done that. <laughs> Actually, I do now. Now I think about it, I do. I do have one semi-funny rental car story. It was um, Hi, on a on a lad's ski trip, and uh, for some reason, we had this rental car which was a bit muddy because it was like slushy and stuff. And we were going from France to Italy, and you have to go through the Mont Blanc Tunnel, don't you? And um, we forgot that you have to take your passports to go through because the um, Italians check which, as you go through. They don't always pull you over, but in this case. They did, and it was very annoying because um, one of our party had an out-of-date passport that he said, don't worry, they, they don't look at it very uh, in much detail. But on the, the point was, on the back of the rental car, from the night before where we got a bit drunk, one of us, I don't know who it was, had written, fuck me gently on the back of the car. And uh, so we ended up standing at the back of this car we're having our papers checked by these oh, Italians. I these wonder three, who that was. <laughs> these three ball blokes, I mean, and we knew that they were dodgy papers with this written on the back of the car. We were just praying that they didn't speak English. You know, read good English, but uh, so that that was a rental car. That was the best one I can think of. We got oh, away with it. The only thing I can think of is I had to go to a wedding in France with the wife, and we turned up for our hire car from the airport, and they gave us a Fiat five hundred, and it was only me that was down to to drive it. Well, me and a Fiat 500, mm-hmm. it, it, I, I literally had to crowbar myself <laughs> into this. It wasn't like the, the big Fiat, was it the Grande or something they call it? No, it's the orig- the small little thing. They're great oh. little cars, aren't they? Didn't Rich well, get one of Not when you're six foot three odd, it's not. Yeah. Did you have one? On the way back from, I, on the way back from uh, when my bike broke down, he'd be yeah, right. on the yeah. tour. That's what they gave me. Yeah. Uh, at uh, uh, yeah, the airport. Well, yeah. I forgot about that. Maybe I don't want the vehicle. <laughs> actually, I forgot, I forgot about that. Pressing, now. pressing the key, looking at all these Land Rover discoveries and stuff. Yeah. Well, is got, it this? Is it this? No, it's a Fiat 500. Need, <laughs> yeah. uh, right, next one. Martin Fordham. Question for all. Electric motorcycles. I've ridden both the Energy Carabelle and the Zero SRF. Um... Uh, are they there yet for the fun factor in your book? So, the, uh, sorry, he did say, bloody hell, especially the Rebel, the torque is equal to the Triumph Rocket 3. Wow. But are they there yet for the fun factor in your book? Electric bikes. Yeah, they're great, they're so but uh, yeah, I don't think they're quite there for the fun factor anyway. They're, 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 they Do are good not? fun. For, well, they've, yeah, the SRF, for an hour. I've ridden the SRF. Yeah, it, was, it is good fun, but I think at the moment they're, they're so expensive that there's mm-hmm. because they're trying to build into a budget, the actual suspension, you know, it can be a little bit budget because all of the money's going into the battery and the motor and all of that, that I think, because I don't want to obviously make these bikes 30 grand like the, the live wire, you know, mm-hmm. so they cut back and they, they compromise on some of the other parts of the bike. And I think because, you know, they don't have gears and stuff and it's, you know, they're a little bit twist and go, I think probably not for me. Yeah, no. I, I sort of agree. I think the fun fact, they definitely do have a great grin and fun factor and everybody should try one at least once because the fun factor is that awesome <clears throat> acceleration that they have. But mm-hmm. there is that, that as far as fun factor is concerned, they are a little bit of a one trick pony, aren't they? You get that and it's brilliant. Yeah. But once that's, once that, yeah. you know, is gone. There's then I don't know if I yeah. want to live with one because there's so many inconveniences with mm. them, you know, the charging and everything else and finding the right mm. points and all that range, etc. And like you say, the cost is just not quite right yet. And the other thing I found was um, mm. it's really weird. I'm sure you just get used to it, but the, the fact that you can hear everything else that's going on on the bike, like the yeah. brakes working and the suspension. See, I liked all that. Yeah, mm. not for me. No? What about you, Rich? I mean, the first hour, the first hour is fantastic. The first hour is fantastic, but after that, you kind of, it's just a bit like... It's it's not exciting enough, I don't think. See, it's I'm I'm. I like them, but I, I don't. I, I I just after the after the first hour. Uh, yeah, no. the, the novelty wears I off. I need to, isn't it? I need I to feel like that with the I need to feel the actually. rumble beneath my balls. Yeah, yeah, I do. Really? When, when I've when I've had an electric bike for any length of time, getting back on a petrol bike is 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 definitely a great feeling. Absolutely, but yeah. But I'm definitely I'm I'm definitely in the mindset now that when that day comes and we can't ride petrol bikes anymore, like not on mass, when that when that switch mm. is made where we okay, we're not on petrol anymore, we're now going electric or whatever the hell it's gonna be. I'm not as worried about that anymore as I used to be because I I, I personally I find electric every bit as fun. It's just a different it's just a different 
sensation and 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 I quite like the challenge of the whole range thing of trying to work out right okay where's my next charge going to be right we've got 100 miles let's go for it I'm I'm doing by the time this comes out I'll probably be excuse me gents you alright oh by the time this comes out I'll probably be doing it but next week I'm doing I'm doing a four corners UK challenge on the new rebel so (laughs) gonna give that a bash I'll, I'll never do it in two days but I'm hoping to get it done in under four if I can. Wow. So that's we'll that's see. quite a challenge. That'd be one to watch. I don't think, yeah. the, no, Bruce, I don't think there's going to be a point at which they will turn off internal combustion engine bikes. It'll be like any other old technology. It'll just fizzle out and they'll be enthusiasts. And I yeah. suggest that us four may be enthusiasts that mm. continue to ride the older bikes. Just like, you know, you can still, if you're desperate, you can go and get a steam engine. Um, yeah. They're always going to exist in our lifetimes anyway. So I have no worries about electric bikes coming in. If you're a commuter and you want a scooter in town, absolutely the right way to go. Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, I I think, think that'll be where it happens right. first is for that I sort of stuff. If, if you want to commute on something, and I think, yeah, I could see riding something to, to work or electric, mm. you know. I think mm. that, that for the cost saving, the maintenance saving, all of that side of things. But as a as a fun thing to take out on a Sunday morning, I've not tried. Maybe I need to try a few more, but not. Try oh, it. it's, not it's not quite there for me yet. Try yeah, the, re- the energy because take the energy cuz mm. out cuz they they they're more expensive they're not they're not live wire price but they're not far off it but they have you know they've got amazing um components on it march semi wheels they've got all sorts of them so the energy ones but there's they're, also they're that the ones terrible that, hmm? terrible wine on that yeah they do I say, yeah, but they, also there's that terrible terrible wine yeah, yeah. they have a proper wine the energy cuz I, I quite like yeah. it i quite like yeah. it right Next one. At Pete 40 English. mile an hour, it's like a police car is coming past you. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk float on steroids. Uh, hi, guys. Hope you're all fitting well. Nice to see Bruce has finally stopped looking like a vagrant and treated himself to some new riding gear. Cheers, Pete. Thank you. <laughs> Question. Well, if you shaved that beard off. <laughs> well, I'm actually... Yeah. This is this is something with uh, Mr. Fish that we're doing tomorrow when we got a bit drunk on the last podcast with him. Basically, tomorrow, I am trimming my beard, not not off, but giving it a trim, and we're both shaving our heads, totally bald, bicking it, and then we are not allowed to shave until... Uh, mm-hmm. When is it? Is it Easter? I think it's Easter. Easter Sunday. So we, we're having a competition <laughs> to see who can grow the most hair in, oh in that God. time. <laughs> oh what are you going to look like with, with, with oh hair? Oh, my God. God. Well, this, this is a couple of that months as fantastic. it is, and there's, there's just like... You know, the old Charlie Brown wisps, that's all there is there. But anyway. I don't think you're going to look any different, Bruce. Just <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> I won't, I won't. Just, just watch out at Christmas. You might end up getting them mobbed by kids. <laughs> I'm, not job, saying extra job I'm not saying anything at all. Right, <laughs> I mean, question. Look at his beard. Check that out. I mean, that is, that is a proper smart beard, isn't it? He can hand his, hold his head high with that one. It's good Manicured, work, that beard, isn't it? Manicured. It is a good one. <laughs> right, question from Pete. You've been left a considerable amount by a distant relative, so the question is <laughs> ra- rally or adventure? Very good. No, seriously though, have you thought about how you would treat your family and would you go for the triple black or any other colour? <laughs> right. <laughs> um how would you treat your family if you won the lottery and he's also saying you're limited to only five bikes in the dream garage, what do you go for? So you win the sure. lottery, what are you going to do? That, the Pete English Silent. question always stumps everybody, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got my five dream bikes in my yeah. garage, so I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't need to win the lottery either. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Jeez, <laughs> uh, five bikes. I well, can't. I, I, I can't complain. Five bikes. <laughs> I would definitely, I'd have the GS in there. I'd keep the one I've got. Um, I'd love a Super Duke car. Um, there'd be an electric bike in there. Be a there. I would. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. I'd have no electric bike in there. What the Um, the the, the Triumph push bike? (laughs) (laughs) I would like a little bike in there as well. Having done that wee trip on the one two fives, it was such a scream. Um, I'd love to try the little cub. Yep. I really want to try the cub. I want to try that hunter cub, but. It's not going to come to us, is it? That cub is brilliant. Mm. The cub is brilliant. Um, that's all I can think of, really. 
Uh, I'll buy a dirt bike. You've got to have a dirt bike. We're going over the green lanes. Bugger yeah. off. Bugger <laughs> off. That's what the little full bike's on, for. Full on motocross. <sighs> yeah, full on motocross for the off road stuff. Nah. <laughs> nah. It'd be like full, K- full, KX250 KTM or something. KTM Enduro, 250, two stroke. That would be me. But, yeah. uh, one, one of those. Yep. Yeah. Probably uh, Super Duke GT, maybe for, for touring on. Super Chew car for the Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Are you sponsored by KTM, perchance, Joe? <laughs> uh, probably, maybe the new Fireblade. I really like the new Fireblade as well. So maybe yeah. the, the sports bike. Uh, <gasps> uh, yeah, maybe the Fireblade. I thought about the S1000RR. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, S1000RR is very, very nice as well. One of mm. those as well, maybe. Fireblade and the S1000RR. Why not? Slightly more sensible times when you want to go out <laughs> on, your, on your sports bike, when you need a bit of heaty grips <laughs> and cruise control. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Rich? Well, I'd, I'd definitely have I'd definitely have the Rocket Three because that oh, and the, the Rocket GTA Three, yeah, the Rocket Three. I definitely have a Rocket adore Three. It. I forgot about that. Rocket Three is incredible bike. Rocket Three, Goldwing. Oh, I've not ridden. Um, yeah, uh, definitely a decent off roader. Full on motocross for you know just full on lunatic off roading. Um, how many is that? My own bike, and um, I don't know. I don't know how many that was. It's about four, I think. So the Africa Twin oh, DCT yeah. wouldn't be oh, there then? Oh, super, 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 super Cup, definitely. So after definitely. all that blowing smoke up the arse of the Africa Twin DCT, you wouldn't have one in your dream garage? I don't know. That speaks to Definitely volumes. the Super Cup, definitely. Yeah, yeah that, that, I, I didn't even get to ride the Super Cup, but it looked a scream. It looked yeah. an absolute scream. It's- such a beautiful little bike, genuinely. It's fantastic. Yeah. And for the price, about three grand, brand new. Nice. Absolutely brilliant. What about you? Can, can, I, can well. I put a bid in for the Ducati Street Fighter? Would you? Yeah, you're, you're quite Ooh, taken with that, aren't you? You, oh, you, you, I, like, I you like the Street that, Fighter, didn't you? Yeah, I've, not I've, I've, your fancy, I've not got my videos up yet, but I've had the Street Fighter for a month and I had the Super Duke R as well, and those vids are coming. But um, I absolutely love the Street Fighter, and I was seriously thinking about asking Ducati whether I could buy it off them, but... Uh, I'm already negotiations on another bike about that. So uh, I wonder, so I I wonder uh, which one that is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, no, the, the, I must admit the Street Fighter is very nice, but I think I'll take the Super, I think I take the Super Duke R over the Street Fighter. I think it's Not close, but I think the Super Duke R for me is just the Street Fighter is just a bit too. You know, it's got that torque control, and it just feels a bit too much like it's riding itself a little bit. Well, mm. that works for me. That works for me. I just found it was a really it flattered your riding, and it was like to me, it felt like a Panigale V4, which I loved, um, but without the awkward riding position. Yeah, it's very. It, that's the thing with it. You're right. It's just so easy to ride, isn't it? And you can go ridiculously fast on it, and it does. It does absolutely flat your riding. Completely yeah, and agree. it was a bike that when they when it first revealed itself, and MCN did some spy shots. I absolutely hated the looks of it. And I thought, what are they doing with this? They've taken a nice bike in the Panigale and ruined it with this thing. But when you see it in the flesh, it's actually yeah. beautifully made. And then yeah. once you mm-hmm. ride it and realize how nice it is to ride, I kind of forgot about the yeah. looks and it sort of grew on me. So uh, to the point that I really was seriously considering getting one. Yeah, I completely agree. In the pictures, it looks like a bit weird, doesn't it? But when you actually see it, it's so well finished and the little details of it, it, it is absolutely It's beautiful. a beautiful, beautiful bike yeah. and really high spec as well in terms of suspension and everything else. It's a lovely bit of kit. Yeah. Have, Have you tried it, Rich? In my future. Have you had that, Rich, the... Ducati Street Fighter. I haven't. No, I haven't. No, no. I'm not no, sure I haven't. Yet. But the, 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 the photo looked great. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, the, the, the switch the, uh, here is quite yeah. fiddly on it. I don't think Rich should get <clears> on with it, to be honest. <laughs> 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 Hang on a minute. We're going back to the switch gear on the Super Duke car, are we? <laughs> that we all know MCN cocked up before I had it. What? The, the seasoned professional journalists, <laughs> they broke the bike. Well, that's what. That's what that's what KTM told me. <laughs> Who's your money told on, you. folks? Yeah, how, MCN how, how, or the YouTuber? How Which off, one are you going to go for? <laughs> hey, hey, how off that bike was I? I hated it. Yeah, I know. And when it came back Couldn't after it had that. been fixed, KTM told me that set, the settings and everything were all over the shop. Yeah. So I don't know if they've been on the track or what, but it was completely a different bike, I, totally different, and I fell straight for it. The you, first Within the first half an hour... When it came back, I loved have it. Have you done any videos on that yet, Rich? I don't think I've seen any videos of you on the new Super Duke car yet, have you? Uh, no, I don't think I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I'm oh, sure I've seen couple it. Couple yes, he did. Yes, he certainly did. No, he did it on the one he I'm borrowed. Sure there is. The mate's one he's got in there for I don't know how long, but I've never seen it on the new one. Did you? <clears> no, no, I'm sure... You're not watching Toasted Up, John. <laughs> um, that's, actually, that's, a, that's actually staying for another year, actually. Where is it? It's there somewhere. 
Look at them. Look at the bikes in there. Look at them all. What a blagger. <laughs> look at them all. <laughs> it's all a kit along the back there. Look at it. Yeah, no, do I'm that just again, Rich. Another one. There. You've got. You, give us a tour, Rich. <laughs> You've got on, me. Tour the garage. Tour the garage. Wow. You have to keep talking so the camera stays on that's, you. I'll shut up. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one we uh, we're giving away. Yeah, show us that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the little pink one. There's, there's no surprise. You've got to talk, or it won't stay on you. Keep talking. You can sing for us. Why give us a sing? It's it's like it's brand new. Well, it is brand new almost. But anyway, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, so, that's, how do people win that then, Rich? Don't know yet. I think it's going Where's to be the going? next year's uh, Wild Bad Weekender. Ooh. I think it's going to be at the weekend of next year. Am I back? Yeah, you're back now. You you broke. How do people win yep, that? Yep, yep. Uh, well, initially, we were going to put it on the stage at the Wild Bad Weekender this year, mm-hmm. and someone within the tent was going to win it. Wow. Um, then, obviously, our COVID struck. Um, so then we kind of changed plans, but because I'm hanging on to it for such a long time, I just kind of think I might as well keep it now until next year's yeah. weekender. So we will put it on the stage, I think, and, and have someone in the tent win it. That's mega. Straight as, as straight and as easy as that. And all money raised from it will go into the Ricky's Last Ride Fund. Brilliant. Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. So, nice, awesome. Yeah. Awesome idea. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> that was Pete English's. Let's move on to the next ones. David Hemmings. To you all, what would be your dream job if you did not do what you do now? Ooh. Ooh, well, that's God. easy, isn't it? That's I dead think, easy. I think two people here have got their dream jobs already, Rich, don't you? God. Yeah, but I mean, does that not mean <laughs> if you couldn't do what you're doing now, so that includes Andy and I doing the YouTube, what would you do? Mine would be a full-on, you know, full-time musician, properly touring, definitely. Nice. Mine would be a pornographer. <laughs> <laughs> well, acting or filming? I, d- I don't mind. Why would you not want to do that? <laughs> wow, um, John. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good. Oh, oh. I don't know. Come back to me. <laughs> God, I'm trying to think what I would want to do if I didn't do this. Um, I w- I'll tell you what I'd like to do: fighter pilot. But <laughs> would a you? Fighter pilot, yeah. Oh. Fighter pilot, flying, Fall on flying jets, gun. yeah. That that would be a hell of a job. That or maybe is it's awesome. a job where you think would be fantastic, but yeah, I, I'd, I'd love that. I think. I think it's more computer operator with risk of death attached. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> when that's when, just like riding the SRF. <laughs> when I was in my twenties, one of my mates had a, a schoolmate who used to come down to London every now and then on the piss with us, and he was he was like a fighter jet pilot in in the uh, RAF, and he uh, was just such a do you know what I mean? He was like a little wee guy. Like all the girls loved him. He always had a story. You just thought you are living the life. Do you know what I mean? Like flying fighter jets for a living. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, they don't get I paid was... very much, unfortunately, and, and it does favour small guys. The G four, so I think Chopsy would be uh, out on that. <laughs> <I'll> be, <laughs> yeah, he was. A, he was about the size of my right leg. But um, yeah, great, great laugh. <laughs> I think I would like if I wasn't doing YouTube, then I would still like to do the the filmmaking stuff, but actually, like, know what I'm doing. So I, I would like to, you know, do proper film school, proper photography, and and just learn like about lighting. Audio. I've got another one, Bruce. Cameras. I've got another one. I've got, Go if on. I can't, if I can't do fighter jets because I'm too big, another yeah. one I'd like to have done was prosthetics, like um, or for like makeup and stuff for, for movies. You know, like um, like a special effects movies, type, special effects oh, type cool, makeup cool. and stuff. Yeah, that's Who'd have thought thing. it that Chopsy yeah. wanted a makeup artist? I mean, there's an amazing no, YouTube no, channel. No, no, I'm just like to say, no, 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 no. It's a second channel, Chops. It's a second channel. Well, that's your goal. Uh, oh, I think I shared it with you. I had a, a like an email from uh, a makeup company, didn't I? Saying, do you, if you want to, uh, yeah, I love, yeah, your, yeah. I love your channel. I especially <laughs> like your video. Do you want to do some makeup tutorials on your channel? Yeah. We'll send you some makeup. <laughs> <laughs> we've got, <laughs> we've got, got six hundred thousand pounds to spend on it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Like, I'm just going to do one on applying this lipstick. It's like all over the place, like that. <laughs> that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? That would be. Yeah, hilarious. Watch TMF's going to do one now. Look, you can oh, see, you can see the light bulb it. going. On. It's uh, well, it does make you think, doesn't it? Because I had a lot of people ask me if I'd make a video on how to lose weight, and I was thinking, I've oh, wow. so many people ask it now. I'm thinking, actually, maybe I should. 
But I'm not claiming to be an expert. Fitness, I'll, fitness I'll be a student. Get a lot of views. I'll be a student. Fitness I was video. thinking about doing it. Just, just like, right, okay, I've had enough. Let's lose some weight and just document it. But I'd probably get about one Back. day into it and go, I've had enough. <laughs> That could get a bit bar. embarrassing, couldn't it, when you're yeah. like, oh, oh, oh. How's it, where, where's those? It's bad enough for the hypermotard restoration, not alone how's the weight loss video going on. Come back in a year and I'm like that. <laughs> it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah. Right, next one. Oh, Mike brilliant. Phillipson. How you doing, Mike? We all know Dickie V is a great musician, but as the band is back together again, what musical Thank instrument oh, would each of you love to play in the band? Well, we've we covered that. Sorry, Mike. We've already had yeah, that question, that mate. Apologies. Paul Jai, third time lucky to all. As experienced long-term, long-distance riders with many days riding under your belt, how do you keep your helmets fresh and clean with the abuse they must receive? Sure, that's a bit Hang of a minute. Minute. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's fine for Richie to answer. No, it is all about wipes. <laughs> how do you keep your helmet I have fresh? Never, with all the abuse you give I have it. never... <laughs> Thank you, Rich Ram, everybody. Right. Exactly, exactly. Hey! <laughs> does, does anyone treat their helmets? That's some abuse. Anyway. I, I do have... No, I, I was going to say, I have never... I, uh, I have never touched mine, ever. You've never touched your helmet, <laughs> Yeah, ever. right. I, I, I will send some uh, muck off... Uh, He's got groupies to do that. ...pressure and stuff. And, do uh, oh, that's yeah, good smart. I, I do some t- every year I give it a spray. <laughs> every year? <laughs> I wash it every year. It's well, fine. Then, never touched, not. You don't keep a helmet for more than a year. Who are you trying to kid? <laughs> Blag no. another lid? Oh, this I've one's dirty. I've never treated any of my lids. I've never treated any of them, but I would like some stuff being sent if there's anything to be sent. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, you'd be surprised to hear that I don't clean my helmet at all. So um, it lasts about four years or so, and then um, time to get another one. It falls off. Yeah, basically, <laughs> <laughs> it gets to the point. It gets to the point where I can, I myself can't stand putting my head inside it. So then I'm like, right, time to get another one. I, I actually, and this might sound gross, but I actually quite like that smell of a well-worn helmet. <laughs> Oh, wow, that that's going in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, okay, do do um do do go on, Andy. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, I, I mean, if you've got a problem with a smelly helmet after a while, Bruce, that's not good. I don't find it's mine's like roses. Mind you, I have got I have got nineteen helmets. To be fair, nineteen. <laughs> well, yeah. Wow. And a, few more in here as well. It's, it's nothing worse it's, when you do a track day and you've come back and you come in from a session and you've got a sweaty helmet. It, it's not good. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> right. Okay. So there you go, Paul. That's uh, that's all about oh, our dirty helmets. Ross Munro. <coughs> How are you doing, Ross? Out of the four of you, who gets their hand in their pocket for the first round and which of you is the most likely to yell at car drivers when they do something idiotic? I, I tend to shout at people. Oh, oh rubbish. <laughs> what? I do. <laughs> what, do, you, do you not think I do? What, no. shout at the drivers? Yeah. Were you going to say get your hand in your pocket or shout at drivers? Shout at drivers. He's Scottish. Oh, He's never okay. going to get his hand in his pocket, be he? <laughs> <laughs> Racist. Racist. <laughs> I'm have you de- pla- that's your channel, God. I'm going to de-platform you. Racist. <laughs> Lamb Shop's the racist. De- Everyone heard that. De-platform you. <laughs> <laughs> right, who'd get the fu- who'd get the first round in? I would. I would. I would. I'm going to vote for I'm Richie not, because he's the northerner, and they're much nicer than us southerners. So let's go for Rich. I'm not shy of getting a round in. I'm not shy of getting a round I've got, in. At I've all. got to say, having been on the beer with all of you at some point, everybody is is fine at getting beers in. Uh, there's no one jumps out to me mm. that has got very deep pockets and short arms. I'm, I'm trying to think of an occasion when we've been out together and we've had to actually pay for beers, to be honest. I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, when we were in Covent Garden. You weren't at that one, Shops, were you? The first, the first miss, Covent Garden, mate. I, yeah. I had a day job to go to. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that was, that was so did I. the expensive. Poor old Rich nearly had a coronary, didn't he? I was on, I was on night duty Which that night, so I was on Coke. But I think my Coke was more expensive than their bloody beer. Oh, in, in uh, Co- Covent Garden, Garden saying, yeah, 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 Punch of Judy. Definitely, yeah. Um, what a cra- cracking session, though. Oh, good, I'm glad you enjoyed Andy it. Andy was spanned, it was brilliant. Well, whilst, <laughs> yeah, he was steaming before I even left. 
<laughs> Sorry, Mrs. TMF is interrupting. Hi, yeah, Carol. Carol. Hi, Carol. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carol. Come and say hello. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Come on. Come get on. her on the get her on properly. Carol. You know if she, when she's on Carol. there, you can't get rid of her. We can ask her, her about your smell of helmet. <laughs> she loves it when she's on there, doesn't she? <laughs> it's, it's on, uh, it's on um, what's his name? Bruce's channel. He's <laughs> you me. Go for it. Oh, oh, I'm watching. You'll be fine. Come on, on your car. Oh, she's gone. She's got to make me a cup of tea. Oh, good call. Good call. Right, Neil Hamilton. Same question as on the original podcast. If you had to Is choose a bike, Neil Hamilton. Uh, uh, which one's that? <laughs> Neil the Hamilton. The XMP. <laughs> right. uh, it may well be if he's into bikes. Um, if you had to choose a bike for the three others, what would you give who and why? Ah. Ah. Oh, that's easy. Go on. I, I, I would give Bruce the Sinis Apache. It's a good little bike. No bloody because brakes, but a good little is. bike. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! In fact, you, you asked earlier. You asked earlier what we we're going to do to give this bike away. The first person that tells me correctly how many times you said Jesus Christ in my episode of The Big Little wins that bike. <laughs> that was a crowd. I'll, I'll, I'll never be able to do it. Uh, Bruce and Chopsy a Honda Grom just because it would look ridiculous. So that's good. And then um, <laughs> I think for Rich, yeah. do you remember back in the days when bicycles were cool and we all wanted choppers? Do you remember they did a girls' version called the Chipper? Mm. The Chipper. I give. Uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> And, I think Rich could have a chipper. He's not a nice man, is he, folks? It, He's like really it. not a nice man. <laughs> God, Chops. Oh, dear. Oh, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Come back to me. I've got no idea. You need we've more beer. You're being very you sensible. Career one, haven't we? No, I come oh, yeah. up with two of those. I come up with two of those. Didn't I fight a pile and a prosthetics artist? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Make, make, make up, up, make up, up artist. artist. How can we forget? No, prosthetics How artist. Original. That's brilliant. <laughs> make, make up. Right. Mm. Who would I give what? Um... Blimey, what is the highest bike out there? <laughs> the Africa highest. Twin Adventure Sport. <laughs> yeah, that Last is quite model. big. Yeah. This one. Have you ridden that, Andy? I yeah. did, I hated it. It was too tall. Excellent, that's yours. The la- oh, um, <laughs> Last year's model were far too tall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. You know, give it something electric. That might oh. be. <laughs> yeah, no, you both mm. didn't like electric, did you? So let's have a look. I would give Chopsy, I'd give you the live wire just to see if it maybe changes your mind a little oh, bit. Oh, no, that's probably the only electric I would quite like, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm that happy does look that. beautiful, actually. That it's, does look it, great. Genuinely, I, I've ridden a few electrics now, and it felt, it just felt individual out of all the electric bikes. Yeah. It, it felt different because it, it's a, it's a it, different, it's almost like you feel like you're on an electric <laughs> cruiser almost because it's it's sort of stretched out a little bit it's a bit of a longer rake in it it just it felt different to the zeros and the energicas has anyone seen the it. charlie and ewan thing yet i've not no anyone no i've not seen it no not no. yet okay we'll do a cheapskate to buy uh, apple play no, I've, I've got I keep... it i keep saying to the missus we've mm. got to watch this we've got to watch, watch this but she keeps coming out of other rubbish to watch <laughs> so, um, i haven't got her to watch it I keep, yet i keep asking folks I keep asking folks how they like it and how they're getting on with it, and apparently it's all good. Yeah, it's mm. really good. Apparently, I, I, so. I want to see it. I want to see it myself and see because you you always get the mm. naysayers, don't you? So I'd, I'd like to see what it's like. Mm. Right, Rich, I've got to think of a bike yeah, for definitely. you, Paul. Um, cool, blimey, what bike would I give you? Hmm. I'd give you. Andy's gone for the girly version of the choppy. You might as well just give me a grifter. Remember grifter. <laughs> The Grifter was oh. good. Was there a girly oh, version of the Grifter? Yeah, was. great bike. I remember the Grifter. No, not, not a girly version, I don't think, but the, the Grifter was a great bike. Yeah. But that because, was sort of off-roady, I know, wasn't well, the Grifter? I always, always covered yeah, the Grifter. That's it. Over a chopper, actually. Big, chunky thing. Mm. I'm trying to think what bike I'd give you, man. Um, oh, blame me, this is going to drag on. Right, what about bike? one of those fold-up girls' bikes with the basket on the front? <laughs> a Brompton. A Brompton. <laughs> the little city you cruisers. See? Yeah, you can have the Brompton. There you go. You have that. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're welcome. Is that everybody? Is well, I'll, every- I'll take it. Is everybody said now? What about the You're bike? You're welcome. <laughs> um, is that everyone? Is everyone said? <laughs> yeah. Right. Next one. Uh, ah, Chris Cunningham. What drives you lot to do what you do? It can't be the money because you always moan about that. <laughs> uh, well, get to ride. You get to ride a whole load of different bikes. Get invited to different places meet lots of new people and i genuinely enjoy the engagement 
I, I, I enjoy yeah. the comments. I enjoy meeting new people. Yeah, I, 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 it's the whole thing right about it. Making, making people happy. Yeah. That's my thing, definitely. Definitely. What about you two? Anybody else? Uh, what, what was the question again? Sorry. What, what drives you? Yeah, what drives you to do what you do? All oh, right. Uh, well, as I said earlier, for me, it was a hobby. I just enjoy the whole idea of it. I'm a um, wannabe failed radio presenter. So um, so this sort of thing appeals to me. Uh, I love the feedback you get. I love making films, even though I'm rubbish at it. I enjoy doing it. Uh, obviously, I like bikes. Um, <coughs> and um, actually, you do get a chance these days. You can make a bit of money as well. So a great way to make a living. I thoroughly recommend it to the house. Mm. Mm. Couldn't agree more. I think it, I think first of all was the creative sort of side for me as well. I enjoyed the editing, all the creative sort of thing, and you get to ride, like you say, Bruce, like you really, you get to ride all sorts of bikes, all sorts of opportunities. You never know mm. what you're going to get in your in your mm. inbox, sort of if, by email. You can get all sorts of offers yeah. for things. You know, it's um, it gets quite exciting, and you do get sort of addicted to we, the whole yeah. YouTube yeah. thing. And I agree, yeah, I agree. It's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. We. We do get our fair share of, like you were just saying, Chopsy, you know, you, you having the chance to film some makeup tutorials, you know, <laughs> you do get your fair share of shit that comes yeah. through the email address. Yeah, but, yeah. but also, there's the odd one that pings and you're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like you start rubbing your hands together, yeah, like, yeah. like this one. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's it, absolutely. It's, there, uh... is, there is, of course, the dark side and the downside to it as well. Is that a follow on part of the question? It's not, but go on, what's that? Well, no, I was only going to say the whole. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. I have a bit of a. Um, Here she struggle. is. Oh, Here I she just is. Just brought me a cup of tea in a uh, TMF <laughs> mug available on my website. Other other brands mm -hmm. are available. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't want them. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the I mean, the downside obviously is um, I have a bit of a problem with social media generally. Have you seen that film, The Social Contract? I think it's called. No. Um, um, who was it? Casey Neistat recommended it on one of his videos recently. This... I watched that, and that's pretty frightening. Um, so the fact that YouTube is part of social is this media the, uh, is this the something right, about the I wasn't notifications? Really referring to that. I was thinking more of the fact that when you do put yourself out there, you do open yourself up to criticism. I'm not yeah, complaining, but um, mm. you know, I've had mm. my fair share of nutters follow me to my, you know, turn up at the house. Um, publish my personal bank details online. I've had my motorbike number plates cloned and I've had people claim they're me in accidents and uh, also and not and just the general sort of hate that I in particular get. So, um, I mean, that, that's the downside. Greatly outside by the, outweighed by the upside, but yeah. it's, not all, um, <clears throat> it's not all roses mm. and um, <clears throat> makeup tutorials. <laughs> you just tend to focus. You let yourself. Well, we we let ourselves focus on the negative side of it rather than the, you know, the, the massively uh, positive side of it. Yeah. When the negative things start rolling in, you've got you've got no choice but to you let it absorb, and we really just should, yeah, bat it away. You, you could get ninety nine or or mm. like TMF side of things, nine hundred and ninety nine positive comments, and you get one negative, and yeah. you focus on that one. It's 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 ridiculous. You do, but you do. You do. It's just human nature, isn't it? It's not good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. But anyway, never mind. Right, uh, Rob Bignall, hi all. Question, so when Dickie Anus sings, do you turn your pack talks off? He doesn't sing to us. He won't <laughs> sing to us when we're out on the bikes. Mm. One day you will. One day you'll sit. You did, actually. The first trip we did down at Toro, you started singing on the pack talks. I remember, because I was like, we're did being I, I serenaded by, uh, Dickie, uh, by Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Made my day. <laughs> yeah, I went Dickie. I went Dickie Vegas you then. Want, you want Dickie Vegas or Dickie Anus at that point? No. What's you want? Talk? <laughs> what? Have you not got the pack oh, talk? Oh, yeah. But yeah, if I, I saw that little intercom you pulled out the back of the uh, gold wing the other day as you were showing with your boot space. <laughs> oh, you well done. Right there, well right done next to my that. plug. <laughs> <laughs> that was, Honda, Honda supplied that in case I wanted to do the Apple CarPlay thing, but it was all too blooming complicated. So, But well spotted. Oh, I'm wow. impressed. I was watching. <laughs> you know, I, you can actually bypass it, by the way. What? You bypass what? You, the, the, the headset, the, the headset for the Apple CarPlay. You can actually bypass it. Oh, see, I, so it's just too much technology. I, I can't be bothered. He with hasn't it, got yeah. to that tutorial yet, Richard. That's tutorial number five. He's only on number three still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, an, it's another CD. Uh, right, Ian Preston. To all, who is most likely to try and bit their sat navs? Bit the or beat? I think it means beat. To all, who's the oh, most beat. likely to try and beat their sat navs ETA? 
well, everybody chops. Well, that's happened it's to you, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You always beat it, don't yeah. you? I always yeah. seem to beat mine, anyway. It's, it's a game, isn't it? You've got to. Uh, well, the thing says, is, thanks. they update as they go along, so theoretically they should be accurate when you get there, shouldn't they? Because they No, well, you, you take yeah. note of what the ETA is when you first set off, and then you have to beat that time, <laughs> yeah. no matter what oh, it yeah, says you as you go. do that. Even I can do that. <laughs> Uh, Ian says uh, thanks for making us all laugh during these testing times no bother at all mate glad you enjoyed it Andy Horton what's the best and worst thing well, we've covered this uh, best and worst thing about moto vlogging what advice would you give to people thinking about starting out and is there space for more vloggers as, as YouTube seems to have lots I think the negativity no, don't start there's no space no exactly I think negativity is probably <laughs> the worst you, you can you can mm. get weighed down in that and it's it's you can't mm. take it personally, you know, unless you know that person, mm. uh, you you actually physically know them, then maybe there might be a reason to take criticism to heart. But if you don't know somebody and they're mm. just mouthing off in you in the comments, you can't take that personally. Mm. No, I, I would say what Andy said earlier. Like if you if you want to build a channel from scratch, make sure you start by building it building the channel that you want to be doing yeah. you know don't don't if you start doing something that's going yeah. to garner loads of views you, you, and you don't particularly like doing that you're gonna to have to carry on mm. doing that you've got to do it for so yourself build, build, build you? a channel that you you've want got, you've got there's no yeah, don't yeah. do it for anybody else because you'll never stick you, you've at you've got to it you just no. got to do do it because for the right start it for the right reasons i think it must be really hard to start a youtube mm. channel now because it's changed so much since i would think since so, we yeah. started yeah you know we were lucky we started when mm. we did i think if we started now probably get no traction at all you know but mm. you've, i think you've got to do it just for you you just do the stuff you want to do what you're interested in doing and yeah and go from there really yeah and also also chops as you said you've got to enjoy all of it so if you don't like editing for example which can take a long yeah. time even for my quality of editing yeah. um it's uh, you're going to spend a lot of time doing it so you've got to make sure you like that and there is you know mm. there's lots of stuff that goes on in the background i mean i spent a whole day today i haven't done any filming but i've had a busy day and all i've been doing really is dealing with emails and answering comments and stuff mm. so um, yeah. you know you've got to want to like you have to like the whole life cycle and yeah. uh, you'll get to know that as you do yeah. it but absolutely there's space for more uh, the more yeah. the merrier as far as i'm concerned before, yeah, you, I think you're get, right. before you even get to that, though, it's all the faffing with the cameras. I mean, how much faff is, it, faff is it to go out for a ride and get all the cameras Lots. on, make sure you've got your batteries charged? You know, oh, there's a lot of faff yeah. involved. And then you've got to copy all that footage off the cameras. Yeah. You, do, you do have to watch that you don't turn your hobby into a monster. No. I've done this before. I mentioned earlier that I'm a mm. failed uh, wannabe radio presenter. And I did. Um, I had a stint of working um, in the, at the BBC. And it got to a point where, actually... The fun disappeared and it just became a job and i think you've i've been very careful when i started youtube because i didn't want that to happen here it, mm. motorcycling is my hobby and i didn't want it to turn into just a job and i think you've got to guard against that a bit yeah yeah, yeah. good advice that definitely well, when i met when i met richard hammond mm. when i was on the ktm launch he said it's that the same thing he said why don't you do more sort of motorcycle stuff and he said i'm not doing any motorcycles that's my hobby i don't want to turn that into my job because yeah. motorcycles uh, are just okay. what i do as a hobby you know and, and, oh, that's, okay. and that stays that way so that was quite interesting yeah. yeah, I felt the same yeah. about pilotage because I, I often I thought if I had my time again, maybe I'd be a professional pilot, but then I'd lose a great hobby. So uh, mm. you got it's a balance, isn't it? Yeah. Like everything. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good advice that. <clears throat> uh, next one: no usernames left. What's the <laughs> what's the largest animal you think you could single handedly cling film to a lamp post? Bring it on! <laughs> Bring it on, <laughs> bear. <laughs> You've got some really weird subscribers, haven't you, Bruce? Yeah, I, but they're I, my subscribers. Don't subscribe to my channel. Uh, I think, from a practical point of view, you've got to go for something small, haven't you? So, because um, you've got one hand, clean film is difficult at the best of time, especially if you get like Asda stuff. <laughs> yeah. Costco stuff is good. Yeah. Um, so, you can't even get it on a plate. I think, I think nothing bigger than a gerbil. <laughs> I'm not I, asking I, I, why you have a gerbil with you. I never said I had a gerbil. I, I could tackle a small dog, I reckon. I can, I could, I could, I could I think film a small oh, dog dear. to a lamp post, perhaps. Jeez, I, you guys I'd like just to see that. Slot. I'd like to see that, Chopsy. I don't think you could. They, they flail about a lot. You guys are. You, you're not we're setting can, your, can, your sights high here, are you? You, you, you are. You are we can you, gently you put a you slot. You could bear, bear. You, you can't go really for the beer. Beer. You tea. I'm just going to get another beer. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> I hope there's a little drop of brandy in it or something at least. <clears throat> what about you, Rich? You could gently put a sloth on the lamppost, <laughs> let him just have a little walk around it, and while he's there hanging onto it, you, you can use both your hands to. <laughs> how, how does a sloth hang on the lamppost, Rich? Show us. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's probably quite a good idea. I think Richard's got it. He's you know the slow, a big animal, but he's still quite slow. So I think yeah. he's really thought about this answer. That, that's smoke, good, smoke and mirrors, see? see. Smoke, smoke and re- smoke and mirrors. You just have a little rest there for a second, mate. <laughs> see, this is a difference between me and you three. You see, oh, I, I just set my sights on something. Right, bugger it, I'm going for it. Let's have it. I'll die trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to cling film gentle Ben to the lamppost. <clears throat> Stuart, he, he was a tame bear, Bruce. You're talking about a wild bear. You're trying to cling to the lamppost. I'd feed him first, obviously, or her. I'd feed them, and then you know, you got you, got, you live your life. Go for it, Stuart Bailey. What's your favourite road trip music track? One from live each of you. Oh, Would the choice me. of track be the same for car and bike? Right, Rich, first, what is your favourite road trip track? Easy, Willie Nelson <clears throat> on the road again. Oh, bastard. Okay, Chops. You were going to take that, Liz. Oh, I, I, I've, I've got no idea. I've got such a diverse, different music I play. I don't think I've even got a favourite favorite Good song answer. or something like that. And it would be the same for bike or car. That wouldn't make a difference, but no idea what that would be. No idea what that would be. I, I fancy Sweet Home Alabama. Nice, Lindsay's another good, good one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice, nice. nice, another good one. I like, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of blues and boogie, and I like um, I've got Sweet Home. I've got down as a dancer, actually, Bruce. That's good <laughs> you should say that. Sweet Home Chicago, the Blues Brothers uh, lot. Awesome. Oh, great Beautiful. song. Beautiful, love that. Great song. I remember listening to that as I was riding that. into Can't Chicago, and that came on me all dim. Um, uh, Apple shuffle yeah. thing that I had. Like, oh, give give it a bit of a rendition, Bruce. Come on, let's hear a bit of it. After, so cool. Rich, Rich, will, Rich, you uh, you lay down the um, <laughs> the beat and I'll sing. Hey, <laughs> we used to play that in the band, and I can't even remember how it goes anymore. <laughs> Are you really oh, yeah, great song, great song. <laughs> <Are you> <laughs> Nothing is sacred. Uh, right, Colonel Bullen. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't have a question. I just want to say thank you to you guys. You all have different channels, but really entertaining. Thank you to keep us all entertained. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Well done, Bruce. I probably sound like a broken record. No, thank you. I Cheers. love the podcast. Top man. Cheers, Colonel. Thank you. Glad you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Cheers, papa. Scott Doby. Question. You've been handed 12 months post-COVID, all personal work, financial responsibilities, etc., covered and sorted. Where do you write? New Zealand. Ooh. I'll join you there, Rich. That was my top of my list. For 12 months? Yeah, we'll get two African <clears throat> twins. Uh, not African twins. Uh, two two uh, gold wings. As I said to you before, Andy, between us, we could change the image of the gold wing. That, I tell you what, that <laughs> we'll do a tour wing, of New Zealand. What an amazing bike that is! I, at New Does Zealand good. on a gold wing, Fantastic. Fact, with a with um, scary spice on the back. Winner. <laughs> I think with you you two on gold wings, you're only going to reaffirm <laughs> the image of the gold wing. You're not you're not going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Bravo, what about you, Chops? Then Bravo. twelve months. Where would you go? <laughs> Money yeah, in the object. Uh, Australia. I think Australia would be great. I'd, I'd like to get, especially now in the middle of the winter, over to Australia. Catch their their summer just starting mm. over there. Do a bit of riding. That would oh, be good because me and Rich would miss you in New Zealand. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, twelve months. I'd do Africa. I'd I'd go back to Africa. Finish that yeah. one. That would be me. Or tip to tail of the Americas one or the other that's like your, your Africa is like the, the bully at school that you need to go back yeah and... I've got to go back and nut it yeah definitely <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah absolutely it'll get done one day close uh, second though can I do a close second the deserts of the western US that would be a great tour oh okay it would yeah oh. I think we said that last time didn't we a bit of the US tour would be absolutely fantastic yeah, yeah. we did we try to do that this. together we got to do that that, that, would, that would be, great be amazing Harley's. wouldn't it Harleys yeah. or Indians or something oh, an American that, that. road trip that would be awesome yeah. that would, if that we would could, be amazing if we I'm sure I'm sure collectively we have the clout to be able to blag four Indians to do a Western US tour. We'll chat. We'll chat off camera. Come on, Indian. We'll chat off camera. <clears throat> Andy Bowen. On that one. Right, you're on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Andy Bowen, motorbike in, tourer. In. Looking forward to this lot. Not a question, but I for one can't wait to go abroad again. Ferry is booked to Bilbao next year for a big hack around Europe. Absolutely, Andy. Can't wait to get back out on the continent again. I really can't. Mm. 
I think you, yeah. you kind of take it for granted, don't you? How how easy it is just to jump on the tunnel or jump on a ferry and yeah. nip across. And I've said this. Go where you like. So yeah, yeah, can't wait. Make, Hopefully, it just makes you realise really that we've been taking everything. We've been taking it all for yeah. granted, haven't we? Yeah, like yeah. just being allowed to roam the roam the world freely, yeah. and now it's you know seems like a massive massive luxury if we ever get to do yeah. it. You know, oh, it'll come well, back. I'm it's, sure it it's horrible, really. But yeah, I'm sure. Steve Farrell. Great channels all. What's the most useful modification you've done to one of your own bikes and why? Oh, useful modification. Can it be anything? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'd say the useful thing, the phone phone mount. I know it's simple, cheap, mm -hmm. but you know you can you can use it for your sat nav. You can see your phone calls coming in. You've got no faff in. You've got, you haven't got to f piss about in your pocket like thinking, oh, who's yeah. this calling me? You can see everything you in front of you. Perfectly your phone safe. Now, Rich, then you might Cheap change chips. your tune. <laughs> you did. <laughs> There's a load half. Yeah. Mm. I, yeah know, so. I have done. Yeah. 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 It, well, I think they're, they're rectifying that as we speak, I think, in the design. Yeah. I'll never be mounting. I won't yep, put yep, my yep. phone on my bike again after mm. trashing my iPhone. It cost me mm. a lot of money. Oh, quad locks come out with yeah. the anti-vibration yes. adapter. Yeah, it's a bit horse stable and bolted in my case. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they never sort anything with mm. you then for that? Well, no, and, and um, I blame Pete English for it because he was the person that recommended quad lock to me, and it was brilliant. Mm. I mean, it's a great thing, but it's so sturdy. Um, mm. I put my phone on mm. there, and it just great. knackered the camera, and I was reliant on that for my thumbnails I think, and stuff. I, so, I yeah. think thanks, Pete. The misconception, a lot of. A lot of people think that it's the vibration is in your phone moving, and it's not. It's the high uh, frequency vibrations off the engine. Is so it? Like, they're really like that the, are dr drilling into your phone, yeah. Is it? It is, definitely. Oh, that. It's, not, that. it's not that the phone's moving. Yeah, it's the high vibrations of the engine, the high frequency. That's what, it's, that's what does it. Whatever Ooh. it is, it's costly. Definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. Chops, yeah. what about you then? Most useful modification? Yeah, I'm liking Richie's uh, phone mount. That, mm. that, that's a good one. Um, I think the old uh, stone chip stuff's always good on a new bike. You get some mm. of that on it, stop any of the mm. chips and stuff. I think that's quite a, quite a good one. But you've got self-healing paint on your bike, uh, haven't no, you? No, mine's a 2017. Mine's a 2017. That was only oh. the 2019 had that. Mine's got basic old paint. Oh. Yeah, you can uh, you can scratch mine. <laughs> I'd love to see that working. It's a bit like self cleaning ovens. You never see them get their arms out with Brillo pads, do you? And clean them. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Andy? Uh, best Most useful mod. modification. Yeah, best uh, mod. It's a bit rubbish, but it's the uh, my Panigale throttle spacer that you can also get on Triumphs. It's just a little bit of plastic you put inside the throttle. It takes out the slack and it makes the slow speed handling. On all okay. wide by wire tramps and uh, Ducati is so much better. It's a, it costs about 30 quid for a bit mm -hmm. of plastic that's worth about 20p, but it's just brilliant. It's well worth the money. Mm, right. One. For for me on the on the tractor on the GS, there's there's two. One is the phone mount, but I for the GS or for any of the BMWs that that use the the nav whatever it is, seven, like the, you know, the sat-nav mount on a BMW now, you can get this phone mount adapter for it for 23 quid on Amazon, and basically it just clips straight into where, on, into your sat-nav cradle, and then you can just plug your phone straight into that, and it charges your phone up as well. So that, 23 quid versus 700 <laughs> quid for your BMW, nav, whatever it is. Um, and the other one for the tractor is the, what's it called, the fender extender? On the front mudguard, brilliant, right. brilliant. The back of the front mudguard, yeah. It is, that yeah. Nippy Norman, mm. that Nippy Norman's, is it? It, it, it is, yeah. It's made by, uh, oh god, I've forgotten the name. American company, I've forgotten the name. But um, Fender Extenders are us. Something like that, yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit of plastic. It's I think it's about ninety quid or a hundred quid. Daft, ridiculously expensive, but it does a cracking job. It, it literally can fit it in about four minutes. It's two screws done, and it and it really does save the headers on your on the GS. Good bit of kit. So that's for me. And right. what's the disc what's the discount code boost for that one? Yeah, I haven't I haven't got one. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a, I'm doing a fair bit with Nippy Normans, but I haven't got I haven't got any discount codes or anything. I'm afraid people not oh, yet. Not anyway, very good is it? Not very good. You want to get on top of that? Cool. Well, dear, dear. If, if they get if they get some interest <laughs> off the vids, they might they might give me one. You never know. So if you're buying anything from Nippy Normans, tell them you saw it on my vids. Right. Jeff Armstrong. Good luck with that, Bruce. Yeah, cheers. 
Hi all, question for the flyer. I've noticed that, here we go, I've noticed the plug has gone missing from your shelf. Has Dickie Anus borrowed it, or does Bruce still have it? <laughs> just Jeff. It's here. They, they, they have no fear, it's just out of shot. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh my god. Where has that been? That's an image, isn't it? That's, that's the thumbnail sorted, Bruce. That's the thumbnail Jeez. sorted. Wow. God. Uh, right, Michael Allen, oh, for all four of you. One, what is the best tip you would give a new rider to improve the riding? And two, what's the biggest thing that surprised you when you started riding? New rider, best tip to improve riding. Don't fall off. Don't, don't fall off. Um, Relax. Yeah. Look through the corners. And the, thing, the biggest thing that surprised me was the weight of motorcycles. Big motorcycles. Okay. What, as in you know, when, you go, when, you, when, you, when you're on a stand and you go, you, mm. yeah, you know, when you go past that point of no return, <laughs> if you're yeah. unfortunate enough to drop one, yeah, it's it, it's surprising just how heavy they are because when they're upright, you don't really feel that they're yeah. that heavy. You think, you know, as a strong bloke, no problem, I can hold this. But once that once it goes past that point, there's just no way. Yeah. That's su- very surprising. So always, always, always kick your stand when you put your stand down. Make sure it's down. <laughs> if you're pointing downhill, leave your bike in first. Always uh, that. That is is a cracking bit of advice. Yeah, leave your bike in gear. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yep. Chops, what about you, Paul? Yeah, I think what Rich said there really just uh, relax on the bike a bit. Don't hold on too yeah. tight, you know, yeah. and try and grip with your knees, all that sort of stuff. Or maybe get some sort of uh, tuition, like the the California Superbike School. You know, that, mm-hmm. I've, I've learned a lot. What they teach makes a lot of sense when, when yeah. you do that on their level one and stuff. So yeah. maybe some tuition is, is, is always good. Or one of the, uh, you know, the, the road-based tuition. What was it the I, IAM, is it, or whatever they yeah, are? Yeah, they do rider skills days. They're good. They are good as well. Bike safe, the thing that you could do through the, the old bill, that's that's good as well. Um, yeah. I've, um, you've done that, You've done that, Bruce, haven't you? The, the advanced riding. Mm-hmm. Have either either you two, Andy or Chops, have you done it? No, I haven't. It? I, haven't. I was actually like at Lumi's the other I would day, like to do it just to the, see. And there was a guy there trying to get people <clears> to go out. Oh, you can come out with us and we'll follow you around and that. Mm. Fun. Maybe, well, maybe later. The, maybe later. I've done the bike safe uh, one with the cops. That was that was good, which is a day. And they yeah. try and use that as a feeder to get you to go on and do the I, IAM yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I have a bit of a problem right. with IAM. So I know a few people that have done it. And, um, and, and it's, you can never argue against extra training. So I can't say that it can do you any harm. But my issue with it is mm. what makes those people that run it any better than you are? So, for example, yeah. I know a few people yeah. that are IAM yeah. instructors that have been riding far less years than I have. Mm-hmm. So I yeah. just, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know, <clears throat> it just doesn't feel quite right to me about the way that the thing's set up. That yeah. somebody that's been running a couple of years, yeah. just because they passed the IAM instructor's course, can give you advice. But mm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You can't argue against more training. Absolutely, yeah, I think yeah. with the IAM and, and the Rosper things, you the, every club is different, you know, and the instructors are all different. We're all people, you know, they're all people at the end of the day. So you you have to you have to try to, if you want to be part of that sort of scene, then go along to a club, see if you fit in there, see if you get on mm. with the people there. If you don't, go to another one and try that. And and it's just a question of you know finding that group of people that you get on with. And, and then you'll enjoy your time there. But there are definitely, oh, uh, hello, there, there is that brigade there. And that's not mm-hmm. my cup of tea personally. So, you know, I don't get involved in that side of stuff. But there yeah, are some I'm, great... I'm exactly with you, Bruce, on that. Yeah. But it's more more training can never do you any harm. Absolutely can never do you yeah. any harm. Um, yeah, for me, I would say definitely what you said there, Rich, look where you want to go on a bike. Just look where you want to go. Even if you think you're going to crash, look where you want to be, not where you're going. And yep. Yep. hopefully, <laughs> it's such a it's such a weird thing to it's such a weird thing to say though, because you obviously you're going to look where you're going to yeah. go. But really, for for the you know inexperienced, if I've done it myself, mm. if you will go where you're yeah, looking. Absolutely. No, no you, question. If, if, there's a, if there's a rut or something like that, that's where you're going to you go. If, I'll tell you what, if you go on YouTube and search for uh, Twist of the Wrist, which yeah. is just Keith Code, there's a whole video on YouTube, the whole thing, about an hour long. You watch that, and there's so many good tips in that of, of how to ride mm. and how to avoid falling into those traps of, you know, target fixation and all that ah, sort of brilliant. stuff. Twist mm. of the Wrist. It's brilliant. The, the, acting, is out, it, the <laughs> acting is absolutely appalling. <laughs> but you get was... past all, all the acting, it's, it's, it's invaluable, really I good. love I love that. Chops just... 
Chops just builds them up just to shoot them down. <laughs> so it's old in the 70s or 80s, wasn't it? What surprised you most about uh, riding? Oh, there, there's so many tips in that, Andy. Um, well, there's the whole there's the whole body position thing. It, it just sort of breaks it all down into those so many... Uh, I can't think of what they call it now. I've had too many beers, but... But it's an SR, as they call it, which I can't remember what it stands for. But there's all these mistakes which you you automatically make, but you shouldn't mm. be doing. So mm. have a watch mm. of it as well. Yeah, no, I've read the book actually. But my question was, what was the thing that most surprised you about riding a bike? Because that was the second mm. part of the question, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Biggest thing that surprised you. As in what? As in what? When you started riding, what's the biggest thing that surprised you about riding a bike that you weren't expecting? Oh, you're going back a bit now. I was 16, guys. So. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's the whole performance thing, really, with bikes, isn't it? That was the, the thing that stood out really most of all for me, I think, when I started riding. Just how quick they were compared to cars, really. I agree. Mm. I was I was hoping you'd say it because I was the same. Mm. I was stunned by how performant. Even I rode, I did my um, DAS thing on a on a Suzuki GS500, and I thought that was an absolute beast <laughs> of a bike. Um, so that was, the, for me, the performance was just amazing. The fact you can go uphill without pedalling was just stunning. And yeah. uh, and also the, the <laughs> grin factor, the buzz that you get. I mean, it's a bit like when you learn to drive a car. You get a buzz, don't you, when you do a driving lesson. But yeah. similarly yeah. on a bike, the same one I learned to fly, actually. I mean, it's just you come off the thing and you think, God, that is brilliant. How is that legal? And that was that was a surprise to me. I love that. Unfortunately, it wears off, doesn't mm. it, once you've been doing it for a while. God, I've still, I still get it. But for me, it was the freedom. It was just that, it was just that sense of freedom. Mm. Like even, even just commuting to work, even just commuting to work, I just had that feeling of, and I can do anything here. You know, it's just, I, yeah. I, I was enjoying, wherever I went, I was enjoying it, and and I still have that to this day. So, uh, to me, to me, the bike is the bike's like the passport. It's just right. Where are we going to go today? Then what are we going to do? And I just love that you don't need to worry about traffic. If you're wearing the right mm. kit or you don't care, you don't need to worry about the weather. You just get on the bike and go and make it happen. And I, I just How are you that. getting on with your very expensive new kit, Bruce? Because that is that makes all the difference having good kit, doesn't it? Uh, uh, it's a game yeah. changer. I mean, it's, it's an insane amount yeah. of money to spend on a jacket and some trousers. But it's a game changer because I've just done a little trip down in the southwest there and it's freezing cold, pushing down with rain. Normally I'd be soaking wet and... I was bone dry with a t-shirt on underneath. I was yeah. comfortable. It was yeah. great. Loved it. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. It, 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 changes, it changes your ride. You get the equivalent of Gore-Tex Pro, which I think is what mm. you've got. It's yeah. just amazing, isn't it? It just yeah. makes any day yeah. a riding day. It's great. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not bothered yeah. about weather. Really, really makes no difference. Mm. Yeah. Really makes no difference to what the weather's doing. Like normally you're panicking, aren't you? Thinking, oh no. Yeah. It's looking a bit grey over there. I'm going to have to pull up and put my suit on. Then, you, then you're a bit flustered and stressed out. <laughs> And then, and then when, when you've, you've gone through the rain and it's dried out, then you're thinking, okay, shall I take it off? Shall I take it off? Yeah, then you're stressed yeah, yeah. again. Shall I take it off and I'm going to get wet through again? The Gore-Tex thing for me is really, yeah, just doesn't make any difference to what the weather's doing at all. Just enjoy the bike. Enjoy being out and the freedom yeah, of it, definitely. It's well worth it if you can. And I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sponsored in any shape or form by Infinity. I've used it as well, but they do 0% finance. So, you know, it makes that ridiculous, expensive rocket kit if you're willing to do it monthly, makes it achievable. I've done it over two years, so it's 70 quid a month, I think. Bosh, done. Anyway. But if that means you can ride any day and not worry about it, that's well worth 70 quid, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, like you, definitely. this is my job now. So, you know, it, it now means that even if it is peeing down with rain or it is freezing cold, I'm still going to be out on the bike when I'm not editing. So, you know, I, I can be out there filming, creating more stuff. We'll Absolutely. See. I was out on my yeah. bike yesterday. I was oh. chucking it down around. I was on my Ducati. Yeah. I had to take it for an MOT. And uh, it was just a filthy day. I had, uh, I've got a Dane kit. So it's a bit like your Rucker or Klim. It's that same sort of yeah, uh, yeah. level of kit. And uh, it just doesn't, it just keeps you bone dry. And I've also got a heated jacket that mm. I wear. I can ride in sub zero temperatures and I'm just as toasty every day. It's an absolute game changer. So, and mm. heat your gloves as well is another great thing. That's just on the Panagali though, Andy, isn't once... it? With the, the, the heat you get from the engine and the. Uh... <laughs> 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 you need your best. You're quite right. I mean, they they all run very hot and I was really pleased with it. I mean, let's face it, it's not even cold yet, is it? But uh, no, I think yet. it was something like, uh, <laughs> it was only like eight degrees, but I was toasty as you like. Uh, yeah. And when I stopped at traffic lights and it was. If that heat was wafting up with the oil. Oh, but then I did have to spend all day uh, cleaning it. I've just I've just been given these mm. these case keys heated gloves. I've not used oh, them yet. Oh, you got the seven oh ones. 
Uh, the new ones, yeah, whatever they are. What are they? Yeah, they're touch sensitive. Seven they're the ones I've got. They're absolutely ones. brilliant. Yeah, are they yeah, good? Yeah, are they? I, yeah oh, fab. I find mine. <laughs> I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try them on this this thing next week. I think we'll see. Um, right. I think with your with your with your Gore-Tex and stuff, once you've got the confidence in it, that's yeah. it. No, it's great. It's great kit. It's just, it's just it, expensive, isn't it? That's, co- that's coming from coming from waterproof mm. stuff. To, to Gore-Tex stuff, you, you're always kind of thinking, oh, is it, is it, is it? Well, yeah. It never does, so. Well, I've, I mean, I've, ha- I've had the laminated kit, and it's great, but yep. eventually water gets in. You know, it, I've, I've, that's the experience I've had. Eventually, water's got in. You know, if I'm out riding for 12 hours, water gets in there eventually. It's generally right up in the, in the midriff, probably because I'm a fat knacker, mm. but I generally always seem to find the water comes in around the waist there, the connection between the trousers and the right. jacket with the and rocker. That's in laminated kit, Bruce, yeah. is it? In laminated stuff, yeah. Laminated Gore-Tex? The wolf, the wolf. The laminated Gore-Tex, you mean? Pardon? The laminated Gore-Tex, you mean? Um, no, no, not Gore-Tex. Though, you know, there's like the cheaper oh, laminated okay. stuff that you can get, but not Gore-Tex. Right, um, but right. I think with the with the rocker stuff, it's got the like the bib. You wear like a bib with it, you know the bib trousers. So I don't know if it's that yeah. or if it's the Gore Tex or Gore Tex Pro itself. Well, I, I think you'll find it's that's what's Gore. That's called Gore Tex Pro, and that's a tri laminate. So there are three tri-laminate. layers of it, and that's what makes the difference. Mm. Right, that's why mm, it's gotcha. so expensive. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's good kit, definitely. Right, next one. We're nearly through the Patreon questions. John Broadhurst. Eh, it's John, it's the Bin Boys. Question for all. If you were offered a million pounds but had to cease all social media activity or say no and carry on as normal, but to continue, you had to each drink a filtered beer through a pair of sweaty kegs. What's the question? What is the <laughs> question for all? If you were offered one million pounds but had to cease all social media activity or say no and carry on as normal, there's... It's not a question. What? What is it? So if we want a million I think, pounds... I think it's you can have a million quid to give up doing all this or you yeah. can drink through some sweaty kegs. I think I'll take a million quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take, take a million quid and um, yeah, uh, find uh, someone else. And we'll, all just, and we'll all just meet up... A, yeah, we'll meet up a couple of times a year on a beach somewhere. On a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, a, a uh, million yeah. pound, John. I love what I'm doing, but... A million pound. It's a million pounds. It's a million quid. <laughs> Anyone disagree? <laughs> no. That's, no. That's three months of work on YouTube for a million. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> a prick. Chris Murphy. Conundrum for all. Why can you dunk a biscuit in coffee for longer than you can in tea? Who Ooh. dunks biscuits in coffee? I've never even tried a thing. What's That's that a, all about? That is actually a good point, Jobs. But, That's a good point, Jobs. I'm not sure. Is wrong, it, who would do that? Kind of is that even true? Has anyone tested this? I don't know. Where's Mrs. Flyer? Ask Mrs. Flyer. Yeah, you got a cup of tea there, Andy. Where's the biscuits? <laughs> I have, actually. Mm-hmm. Fact, actually bis- biscuits are banned in my house, but I do have a secret stash of digestives that I bought for Henry Cole in the back cupboard, uh, which I've actually eaten myself. So I might, I could do a tea test, but not a coffee one. Get to get the coffee on. Get to get the coffee on. <laughs> got no idea about that, Chris, to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm sort of a you chops. The only time I've ever dunked a biscuit in coffee is, is generally when I'm abroad and they give you a little wee biscuit with your coffee when you, when you have it. But I don't. I don't suppose yeah. I dunk it. I just eat it. I don't think you meant to dunk that. <laughs> 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 typical. Is that typical for on holiday? Yeah. I'm sat there in my Union mm. Jack t-shirt and shorts. And your yeah. tea towel on your head, tied <laughs> yeah, on your it. head. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next one. Pete Hammer Hammer Zads Hammer Zed. Pete. Hi all. As you may or may not know, Bruce went round the world on his jigsaw prick. If you were to travel round the world on a bike, which countries would you include on your must see list and which would you exclude and why? Blimey. Right. Must see list. Well, yeah, New Zealand, it. Australia. That's a tricky one. Yeah, yeah. Where else do you want to go? I think that's quite generic, isn't it? We're, we're all, uh, yeah. Your main, your main big hitters, New Zealand. I'd love, to do, I'd love to do South America. New Zealand's well, probably Argentina the top. And Argentina and all that stuff. That yeah, Chile, that'd be good. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to explore South America more, definitely. Definitely. Um, Was it Mauritania you got stuck, Bruce? That you'd avoid? <laughs> yeah, or? Great, great place. Mm. Yeah, Mauritania, mm. I wouldn't be that keen to go back. Um, I want yeah. to do the stands. I want to do the Mongol rally. I had, um, mm. I had Paul and Holly on... Um, 
from riding from reality last week and they rode the little Sinish terrains through the Mongol rally so they rode them from the start point in Prague to Ulanuda in Russia via Mongolia and all the stands you know Uzbekistan Tajikistan Pakistan all that I'd love to do that sounds a right sounds a right adventure mm. I was, a, um, a different, I, I, was yeah, different I said culture, to you I said to you and fish, didn't I what, what's that yes yeah I was saying it's a different culture yeah. shock completely doing the stands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I've not I've not had anyone say anything negative who's actually been and done it. Nobody okay. has said a single negative thing about it or the people. And that that's true okay. of of just about mm. every overlander I've ever spoken to about about any of the stands yeah. and like places like Syri well, not Syria now, but before all this happened in Syria, mm. people used to say to me Syria was one of the friendliest places that they'd ever been to. You know, it's, it's just mm. one of and Iran as well. It's like the, the sort of places where we're told do not go and they went and yeah. found it an amazing place. Obviously different different kettle mm. of fish now, sadly. Yeah. But, um, definitely, yeah, <clears throat> yeah I, I would like to try the stands for sure. What about you, Chops? Oh, yeah, I think all, all the nice, easy places, which is sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Australia, America, <laughs> you know, you're uh, nowhere too too taxing for me, thanks. <laughs> but there's oh, good well, roads, friendly Kevin. people. <clears throat> yeah, I think we, 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 we'd do a good tour, Andy, wouldn't we? We'd do a yeah, good tour. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll, leave, we'll, leave, we'll leave Stan at home. We'll leave Stan at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Right. I still think Norway's up there, one of the best. Absolutely. Norway's a special place, definitely. Yeah, you should yeah. definitely give that a shot. If you've never, mm -hmm. never thought of doing it before, definitely give it a shot. Beautiful place. Yeah, I've got to go back and do those Lofoten Islands. You did those, didn't you, Rich? Oh, yeah, st absolutely stunning. stunning. I think it made it mm. better for us because on the way up, we just had shocking weather all all the way until we crossed onto the Lofoten. So all the way up through Norway, every single day, just, just you know, a big blanket of cloud the whole way up. Uh, and it was only when we crossed over to the Lofoten Islands, it were clear, blue skies, white beaches, and just the most, just the most beautiful place I've ever seen. It's just mm. really, really special. So, yeah, definitely a special like place and everyone should do it. They're like the Grand Canyon. They're one of these places that actually look even better in the flesh than they do in the pictures. It's just, just stunningly yeah. oh, beautiful yeah. place. Yeah, Gorgeous. yeah, I, I agree. Have you been to uh, Niagara Falls? Uh, I know you have, Rich, but have you been, Bruce? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I went on the American side. I didn't cross into the I, Canadian side. Because I thought side. that was the opposite. I thought that was a bit more rubbish for real. Yeah. yeah, it was, wasn't it? It's just like, oh, is this it? It's like quite tacky uh, yeah, exactly. and touristy, isn't it? Uh, okay. Right, next. <laughs> um, where would you exclude then? All right, Chops, Chops and, and Andy, on your on your civilised trip, where would you exclude and why? Anywhere that doesn't speak English and have uh, non-spicy food. <laughs> and lots of coffee shops. Beige, <laughs> beige. <laughs> coffee breaks. <laughs> wow. All right then, Rich, more adventurous. Where would you avoid and why? Bradford. Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> no. I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever been to no, Bradford no. out of interest? <laughs> <laughs> no, I try my best not to. <laughs> um, where would I exclude? Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Brad, Bradfordians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch your sub count go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I can't think of anywhere I would... I would definitely not go to. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. North to... Korea. North Korea might be worth missing. No, I'd, oh. I'd quite like to. Yeah, obviously. I'd quite yeah. like to see it. I'd like to. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to definitely. But you. Yeah. Probably not you're advisable in trouble if you're to go in there, there just now. Um, mm, I wouldn't yeah. go to Syria at the moment. Obviously, I wouldn't go to Iraq at the moment. A mm. um, lot of parts of North Africa I wouldn't go to at the moment. Northeast Africa mm. just now. That's about it, really game for anything else right next one cheers to that Pete Robert second last question for Patreon Robert Forster question for Sticky Anus what nicknames would you give your fellow brew timers <laughs> fellow brew timers well Bruce because you, you Bruce can't go awesome. to this stupid Dicky Vegas thing <laughs> Bruce the awesome, your 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 toss pot one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, well, to be honest, I've not got anything negative about TMF or Chops, you so I'm not going to give him a bad him. name. Just you. <laughs> Good man. 
<laughs> no, I'm not having that. Come on, no, give them nicknames. <laughs> right now. I'm not having it. They don't deserve it, mate. They don't deserve it. You do. <laughs> Toss pot one. Well, you know, I've definitely been called worse. <laughs> Thanks, Rach. Oh, right, last Toss one of the patrons. Toss sticky anus is just brilliant, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, got to get t-shirts. Got to have t-shirts for that. <laughs> Ashley Wright. Good evening, gentlemen. Uh, I hope you're all well. Good evening. How are you, Ashley? Now you will have to forgive me as I've been listening to far too much Joe Rogan. Question. Do you think that one day all automotive travel will be completely autonomous? The governments of the world will deem all of society unable to drive and ride safely, therefore banning it completely. Ooh. Nah, a bit. It's like we said before. Not, the electric thing. Lifetime. There'll be there'll, there'll still be enthusiasts that drive their own vehicles. Although mm. it may be that mass mm. transport is all automated. I'm, I'm I'm willing to buy into that. Let's face it. You know, the insurance premiums will be less, won't they? If no one has any crashes, it'll be a great thing. Mm. I could see it going. You know, remember on mm. iRobot that Will Smith thing where nobody you have the option to oh, manually yes, yeah. override it, but nobody ever does. I mm. I could see mm. it going that way. Yeah, I think it would be a great thing. You imagine if you if I you had anyone... a car and you could go out for a few beers and you could just go on an app on your phone, your car would come and yeah. give you a lift home. It would be fantastic. I, I, I can't think of anything worse than Has... being out on my bike and being surrounded by people who aren't paying a blind bit of attention and it's all left down to technology. Uh, no, no well, thanks. that's how it is now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of, Has yeah. anyone actually tried the autonomous Tesla? No. Has anyone done the Tesla thing? And go in the fully autonomous? No, mate, no. That would freak, freak me out. But I don't think you can do it in this in. country, can you? I think it's only in the States you're allowed to do I'm that. Not I sure. don't, don't. I'm sure I've seen videos. I'm sure I've seen videos in this country yeah. of people oh, doing right. it. I wasn't sure if it was no, allowed don't, to. I don't think it's wrong, legal. Sure. It's not legal in this country. I, had a, um, I used to have a Merc that is, parked is it itself. Not? That was freaky mm. enough. Yeah, I bet. Crikey. <laughs> what about you, Chops? What do you think? <laughs> it's like... I could probably see it coming. You know, these like these nanny states. I could see them yeah. forcing people. You know, the technology's there. You're not if if you turn it off, then you know you can be fined. I can mm. probably yeah. not not anytime soon, thankfully. But I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't it won't be, be our lifetime, surely. Yeah. Another mm. thirty years. Well, who knows? Twenty years. Man, you just don't know, do you? You don't. You know. just don't know. You just don't know how quickly these things are moving, do you? It's. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Is there right. any chance of a tour of your garage, Chopsy? We've had, had one of Richie's. Yours is looking pretty packed full of free merch. Well, not merch, <laughs> but uh, free stuff. Let's uh, have a look around. Have, have a quick look. You've got the, <laughs> got the H2. Yeah. You've got the H2 there. You've got uh, it's a GSX S1000 back there. Let's have a look. There we go. What's GSX that like, S1000. Chops? It's all right, actually. It's a little bit... I rode the I rode it back in 2014 when they first 2015 when they first came out. Mm -hmm. It's it, and it was a bit snatchy to throttle. It's still unfortunately a little bit snatchy. Is um, it? Yeah, it's a bit bit of a shame, but it, it's still a bloody good bike. You can get it for like nine and a half grand now, so mm -hmm. yeah. an absolute bargain. You <laughs> stick a power commander on it for three hundred quid, and it's absolutely sorted. Suzuki so, nailed it, haven't they, for pricing? I think they all, they always seem to have been the ones for value for money. Yeah, used to get... I mean, it's a hundred and forty-five oh, yeah, yeah, horsepower definitely. bike. You know, it's still Sheesh. quick, and it's nine and a half grand. You know, yeah. it, it's, oh, uh, yeah. it, it's very, really very quick, very we, quick. We've got the uh, six ninety over here, which I in negotiations with KTM about mm. potentially. You need purchasing. to turn the headlight off because you're going to flatten your battery. What on the what the KTM? Yeah, is the, is the headlight on or is that just no, a No, it's just, just a reflection. reflection. I think it's just a reflection. <laughs> reflection. So we got that there. That's it, really. So I did have a Fireblade and an RSV4 in here as of Wednesday. Jeez. But it was a bit tight, but... Uh, have you got a couple of mini skirts hanging up at the back there? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mini skirts. No. no, that's my carriage oh, yeah. door curtains. Oh, yeah. Carriage door curtains, that is. <laughs> I thought I've got one of those. Kilt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what goes on yeah, in TMF cool. Towers? Uh, yeah. Nice. Right, gents, that is us. We have done all the Patreon questions, so thank you very much, folks, for, for leaving them. Um, well, we've been on for two hours. Shall we do another 15 minutes? How's that sound? Have we been on for two hours? Well, yeah, well, have my we clock showed two hours? Two, hours, two hours, five minutes wow. on the GoPro at the moment. Mm. I think we should go for the marathon. We should go for the record, Bruce. <laughs> Nine hours <laughs> later. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> well, th there are something like, I think it said 60 questions over on Instagram. So okay, um, well, maybe I regret saying that. Now. Yeah, you do, will, yeah. We'll, we'll go for the first then, few and see how we do. So over there on Instagram, on. teapot one, Insta. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Bruce, have, have a quick skim and read of them and pick out the ones which... Uh, Classics. Yes. Have okay. a quick skim read. Pick out Good the classics idea. out of them. We'll talk amongst ourselves while you're doing it. Right. Well, the likable riders on there, but we've all already mm -hmm. answered him. Um, He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Yeah. He's likable, isn't he? Here we go. Official yeah, Mr. Fish, see if you can rope in everyone for the hair grow challenge. That thing I was telling you about, we all shave our barnets tomorrow mm -hmm. and then you've got to leave it until, I think it's Easter Sunday or April, it might be April Fools. And then... You see how, oh, see how this much is the best. This is the best thing, Br Bruce. For those that don't know, Bruce really always comes up with the stupidest ideas, <laughs> and I this one is definitely up there, mate. Uh, I cannot we... wait to see this one to fruition. <laughs> I think you should do it, Rich. Come on, shave, shave that little barnet off. Come on. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't mind no. it. I'll sit no, and watch, no. and I'll enjoy it though. <laughs> I'll enjoy watching. <laughs> Um, right. How can we ever see Teapot without I've his helmet there. on anymore? I've had the Coco the Clown look already. <laughs> are, you, are you growing yours? You've always got your cap on now, Chops. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen him without the cap, have we? I, I think know. we need to get the cap off. There think... should be some sort of a... Oh, there we have. Well, 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 okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's nasty. It's nasty. I'll put it back on. We'll do it back on. <laughs> the, cam got cap. the camera was all overexposed there. <laughs> it's pretty bad anyway with that lot behind me. Yeah. Um, well, here we go. Arn on two wheels. Excited for this one, Bruce. Question for you all. Where are your favourite locations for a decent Sunday ride? You're not pre-reading them, Bruce. You're not pre-reading them. You're going on to the next question. It must be the a better one than that for the last 15 minutes. There was just a lot... Well, there was a lot of people just saying they're looking forward to it. Um uh, 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 uh. Well, my 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 peak district. Well, not my peak district, but Edale is my definitely my place to go yeah. um, for a Sunday. That's lovely blast, up there, right in the heart of the peaks. Took you there. Whoa. Took you there on the big little thing, and yeah, it's it's just beautiful. It is really is. You're yeah. so sport rich for great places to ride, though. Watching Absolutely. your videos of late, I mean, you've got such yeah. great countryside around them, haven't you. Where yeah. I live, it's just pants everywhere. It's it is. It's. Well, you, you're right. I live on the south coast. You have to, I, I uh, you, you boys... I can't go south. I've only go north, east, or west. I'm sorry. It's I'm just the traffic down away. here. It's <laughs> the traffic down here in the south. It's the traffic. Yeah, you boys will have to come up. Everything. Actually, John, I, th I thought your, your book is that same thing. Showed some really lovely scenery. I, I was quite impressed. I thought I must come down and visit you. It looked lovely. There's a few places, but it's a little bit limited. You know, there's a couple of places you can go. I've got a couple of sort of routes, really, mm. and it's like mm, outside of that, without going too far afield. It's, it's a little bit limited. Mm. Mm. Right, next one. You have to. You'll have to all come up north. Come up. Come yeah, up. We come do, up we see do me in the peaks and do it. Yeah, we'll we'll, do we'll it. have a good weekend. Definitely. It's got the lurgy up north, though, isn't it? We don't know. We're heading up there. We're all going to get ill. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, next question. This is a good one. Motor Rev UK. How are you doing, yeah. guys? Pratt. If you all had control over each other's channels for a one-off video, what would you do different with their channel, knowing their audiences? Ooh, that's a good one. I think, I think that butt plug would make more of an appearance in Andy's videos. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the what would? The, the butt, butt plug. plug. The butt plug. What did you say there, Chops? <laughs> I think that butt plug would make more of an appearance in Andy's yeah. video. A bit more prominent. A bit more prominent, I reckon. It can't be much <laughs> more prominent than me sucking it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There's just going to be too much to choose, isn't there, for this trailer? <laughs> It's just going to be Andy constantly. Um, uh, cool. What would you do? I, I was just going to say that book plug has to come on tour, but that's Oof. probably not really the best thing to do, is it? <laughs> can just... I can I have a go tonight? <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, no, I'll I'll skip that one. Thanks. Um, right, come on. What would you do different for each other's uh, channels? For one off video. Oof. I don't well, know. I think I we'd think have to do a video on Richard's that. channel absolutely trashing the VFR, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, don't ever say that. <laughs> That's horrible just to even think that. <laughs> just just leaving it there as you ride any other bike out the garage. Oh, just we'd have to take all Andy's bikes green then, you know, I reckon, and get them absolutely <laughs> filthy. Yeah, oh, that, that's <laughs> filthy, wrong. filthy. <laughs> You've got a green lean arm, haven't you? Have you not got a little off-roader? Have you got rid of uh, that? I, I might have used to have done... Yeah. <laughs> All received. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, sheesh. I don't know, because I think we all 
we all do our own. Yes. They're all similar, but we all have our yeah. own unique little style, don't we? Well, I think we yeah. do. I don't think I don't think personally all the channels are the same. They're all yeah, definitely slightly different in their own wee way. No, not at all. Um, mm. I can't think of anything. I would a one-off video. I think maybe we just did a a piss take. We all we all choose one of the other to do a piss take caricature of and do it in their style. Mm. That could that, be that fun. would be quite that would be quite funny. That, that would could be, be a bit funny. of a giggle. Yeah. Ooh, that's maybe an idea. In their style, yeah, that's good. Good idea. <laughs> Bing! Do, do it as that person, yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, watch this space. That's some, that, something might come of that. Uh, right. I, quite like the, I do quite like that idea of hijacking each other's channels, actually. We should make it. We should do a video for each other's channels. I like that. But we okay. didn't think about what we need Yeah, the takeover. Yeah, that is good. Let's do it. Take oh, yeah. the takeover. Takeover Tuesday. Take takeover day. Takeover Take, day. Okay, Tuesday is not a good takeover day for Tuesday, my. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure that out. Right. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Next question. Chopsy can take over mine though. I don't want you two on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> well, this is a good one. Captain Pugwash. It's not a question, but he said the West Life of Moto Vloggers. Desperate Dan's Teapot One. Elmer Thud is TMF. Steptoe is Chopsy. And Elvis is Richie. <laughs> it's Captain Pugwash Rides. <laughs> Cheers. Um, teapot, Mr. Smart. Good lad as well. How about a shave a thon I'll done by the other three Thud, amigos? I'll take issue with Elmer Thud, by the way. <laughs> I knew you were. I knew you were going to let that go. I knew you were going to let that go with that. <laughs> Say something about Elmer <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Uh, somebody else asking, Nick <laughs> Steele, 76. I think it would be good to see you lot doing something similar to a 44 teeth budget bike battle. Well, we've sort of talked about... Have we not just done that? Something well, we similar. kind of have, haven't we? But with the, big, the big little thing is kind of simple. I don't see... I mean... If Similar we were to I mean. do something like that, everyone would just be like, "Oh, you're just copying forty-four teeth." It's like yeah, 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 yeah. you got to do something. You got to have your own. You got yeah. to have your own ideas. It's definitely. like we did bike versus yeah, planes, so was, and and people were like, "Oh, you're just copying Top Gear." And you're like, <laughs> so um, yeah, we need to think of something else. I like the channel takeover. I was going to say, yeah, I think we should do just something because we have with the resources to do that. And animals and lampposts. <laughs> that make a great video. Find <laughs> me a bear. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, blame me. There's just on Instagram. There's just loads of people saying how much they're looking forward to it. Um, Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, right. Here's one three 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 moto vlog. Uh, my question: Is there one bike that is a unanimous favourite amongst the whole crew? If so, which one? And it can't be the GS. Yeah, I was going to say not not the GS, not the GS. Uh, I'll start. I'll start. I don't know if it's just because I've got it, but I'll start with the rocket because it has blown my socks off. I've not ridden really it yet. I can't say I've, I've not ridden it yet. It, it, does it have it to looks, be? It, have to be one we've it all ridden? Because I think we all agree oh, the rocket is pretty good. But, I would, um, I would say Bruce so. Yeah, it. I would say it has to be mm. one we've all ridden. Yeah. And we haven't. We haven't all ridden oh. the gold wing because oh, me and Rich love that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What about the Super Duke? Super Duke car. You've all ridden that. I think we could probably all agree on the Super Duke car. Actually, love that. But for a road bike, I'm going to have to go again. I'm still. Still gonna have to go against the grain and do the GT though. Are you? No, that, that's, a does that feel, that's a shame. Does that still? I preferred the Super Adventure. Does that still fall in the same category? Or I, I preferred the Super Adventure no, to the I'm GT. No, I love that GT. For me, the it'd GT be super looks du like a rhinoceros, mm. doesn't it? <laughs> I know, it, I know, it doesn't look beautiful, but you need to sell it's still the same, to a almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, oh. it's still the it's still the same um, performance as the R almost. But you've got the extra bits for touring. Yeah, I do so, like the GT. You know, for I getting like off and getting out. I think, so. I think the R's where my heart would lie if we were dead to choose on. I think the Same R for me, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Are we, another beer. Blimey. Um, are we unanim we're not on unanimous on that then, are we? Because you're GT. So, well, it's okay. a Super Duke. Well, it's a Super well, Duke, well, though, isn't almost, it? It's a Super Duke. We just super say Duke, Super exactly, Duke. Yeah. It covers both, doesn't it? Super Duke, yeah. then. Again, yeah. KTM. Yeah. KTM's coming out strong in this one, isn't it? I will say that... Since having the you know pleasure of a privilege of trying all these new bikes, which I, I love, obviously, KTM has really took me by surprise because it's I, I just can't believe how mm. good they are. Really, shot it shocked me how good they are. It's a new a newfound respect I've got for KTM, definitely. Mm. Even even that though I'm, mine you know, broke down on they me, were ne never really I on still my radar. like it. But yeah, what do you mean the bike's rich, yeah. or do and you th mean th the, as a as a yeah, company just the, or? The, 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 yeah the bikes yeah the performance mm. the level of uh, you know workmanship in the in the in the bikes they just feel 
different. You know, they feel different gravy to me. Yeah. You know? No, I, I think there's you're a, right. There's a touch it, of. Uh, I think, you know, I think, there's a touch of class in there, definitely. I think my favourite. If I if I look at all the bikes I love, I think <laughs> the majority of them, you know, averaging across all the different sort of makes, I think the majority of them would be probably be KTM's. You know, mm-hmm. if, you, if you if you add up all yeah, the bikes yeah. you really love in each sort of genre, I think there'd be more KTM's in there than, mm. than anything else. Yeah, for mm. for the rideability oh, factor, I absolutely. But I, I still, I don't know if you can see my. Um, sorry, sorry. I don't know if you can see my face going a different colour, but my light's about to fail. Oh, right. So that could be a little uh, note note to maybe uh, knock it I'll on the head. It, yeah, no know. problem. We're, we're, we're nearly yeah. done now. Anyway, it's yeah, on the KTM, I'm, like KTM I'm, bottle. Yeah, KTM. Holders. I do, I do, uh, I do, um, I do quite like the old KTM. Yes, you yeah, know, I, uh, I had one around here somewhere. <laughs> no bias <laughs> here either. Mm-hmm. KTM winners. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, Simon, if you're yeah, watching, yeah, for yeah. sending me mine. Thanks very um, much. Well, I was just going to say, though, build quality ha- wasn't an issue. I, I did think that was a bit outdated, but obviously I had an issue with the Super Duke car. And then I have got two mates who've had KTMs, and both of them have had issues with them. But, yeah. you know, th- these things just happen. And for me, it's it's how that is handled by yeah. the, the dealership. And I think that is still something we're lucky because we deal with KTM UK, and they are brilliant they are very social savvy yeah, they they're very pro what we do which yeah. is awesome but when it comes down to a dealership level ktm are still struggling a bit there because there's still that discrepancy across yeah. across the board some are brilliant yeah. others are horrendous well, it's, so, I, I have a problem this, with this whole dealership um, this, this, this thing super duke behind I, me I, has never never been wrong <clears throat> hmm. i was saying the super duke behind good. me privately owned super duke behind me has never yeah. he said it's never ever skipped to be ever so again it's like it's like anything everyone's going to have some form of issue at some point but it's not it's mm-hmm. not just because it's that brand yeah, of bike, you know, they have I, all I, the issues I've it's, owned, it's the I've look of the draw really and, and never had a problem never had a problem with any of the KTMs. yeah oh, that's good. exactly no, there you go no, cool no. nice Mm. Well, that's good to hear. And I think as, as far as dealerships are concerned, it's um, I don't think it's anything to do with the brand. It's down to the people that actually staff the place. So well, absolutely, yeah. great yeah, dealerships, definitely. great KTM ones, great BMW ones, and crap, all of those. So mm. it's just down to the people, isn't it? No, it's, it's true. But I think things, for me personally, my experience, things like BMW, certainly, their, their corp identity, their corporate brand image, is generally on the whole on point throughout you know, I, I know you had an issue with mm-hmm. yours, but in my experience, it generally has been top notch. My local one's gone a bit downhill, so I just moved to another one, and I'm back to the same old standard that that I expect really there. But I do know other local dealerships around here, multi-franchise dealerships, and the customer service is pretty damn shocking, to be honest. To, to the extent where it'd be really easy mm-hmm. for me to pop mm-hmm. down the road and, and take some bikes out, but I won't go there because the customer service is so crap. So, mm-hmm. but, uh, It's just a personal yeah. choice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, last one, last one. Biker Bimble. Out of all the places you've ridden, what would you pick as your favourite road or area to ride? The one place that really sticks in the mind. N six two one, easy. Yeah, and the Picos. Oh, no, no, no. Angeles Crest Highway. Where's like that? Dropping down into Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles, United States, Bruce. <laughs> Have you been Angeles to the Crest Highway? It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> no, it re- really really is. Like nice. You got you got really high altitudes, really road, really twisty through the mountains. Absolutely beautiful, and obviously you're dropping down into LA. So it's mm. uh, yeah, mm. really definitely a special road that one. One that took me by surprise. I didn't expect it to be anywhere near that good. Nice. What about you, Chops? Yeah, be somewhere, somewhere in Spain, somewhere in Spain, I think, mm. because you know the uh, Pyrenees. The, the day we did on the Pyrenees, just riding all day on roads, which are fantastic. You know, yeah. you, you just you just don't get that in the UK. You know, you just yeah. you just can't get that in the UK. Just mm. to, just riding all day on amazing roads with no traffic on them. You know, it's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do that I'm, North Coast 500 shot. Yeah, no, yeah, no, mind. yeah. I can. I've, I've heard a lot of really good things. That's why I want to do it, to be honest, because yeah. I've heard so many good things about it's it. Fantastic, it's, yeah. it's good. It's the North Coast 500 is good. It's, it's some of the best you're going to get in the UK in terms of scenery for sure, and the ridings. But really, it's like anything, though, Bruce. It's like anything, though. The NC, NC 500, the official NC 500, mm. is probably better, as you'll probably agree, if you go a little bit off piste. Yeah. Well. 
not necessarily the the tourist route. But the you the know. thing is, in a lot of those places, there is no off piece because it's. Oh, it's going to say the that, same. That's You're on the, the only, only road. road in the area. Yeah, that that is it. But I, th- I think the problem mm-hmm. with the NC five hundred is you've got to pick your time, because. <laughs> Certainly during the summer, mm. it's a conveyor. These days, it's a conveyor belt. It's just mm. full of motorhomes, cars, yeah. bikes. So if you try and go mm. off season a little bit, then you get the best out of it. But yeah. then you run the risk of snow, wind, rain, <laughs> that sort of stuff. What's up with what's wrong with that? <laughs> January, <laughs> Africa twin. Rich, he's, got Africa snow. twin. he's happy with that. <laughs> snow, he's well snow, yeah, all good. No all problem. Good. No problem. Um, I, I think I'm with you boys. Northern Spain. I think. Well, anywhere in anywhere in the mountains in Spain. I used to think it was just the north, but there's some cracking roads up in the mountains in the south. Yeah, there is. Andalusia. Yeah. Andalusia is incredible. There's some great yeah. roads around there. That, that Toronto road beautiful. is pretty good, isn't it? That's yeah, a good one. It is. Yeah, 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 it's not yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, it's not a bad Spain road. Spain is a fantastic place for riding, <laughs> whenever, there, isn't it? It's, it's so many good roads. When, whenever I, whenever I hear, whenever I hear or talk about the Ronda Road, all I can ever hear is chops going. Is this the Ronda Road? Is this <laughs> the Ronda Road? On it, is this the Ronda Road? <laughs> well, we did go on it the, well, when we wumble, when we went on the Ronda Road then, but I don't yeah. think we went on it when we were you guys. Yeah, we, we, we did go on. This yeah. is it. <laughs> yeah, I think Spain just gives you your best. It gives you your best bang for your buck on the bike, doesn't it? Generally, the, the roads are fantastic. Mm. There's very little traffic. Yeah. Uh, the weather very generally is, is good. Generally is good. You can get up in the mountains, you can get the odd wet day. Um, but yeah. Mm. And it's close, fairly close to home, isn't it? It's literally a 24-hour ferry yeah. ride and bang you there. What about you, Andy? You didn't yep. mention, you didn't say. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, all things considered, you can't, Spain is probably the best bet because, like you say, weather and and you can't mm. go wrong with the roads. But I would mm. also argue, you know, close to home Wales is pretty flipping good. That road along Just, the top of the Brecon Beacons, I mm. can't mm-hmm. know what the road number is, but that's amazing yeah. that mm-hmm. Top Gear used to use a lot. Um, again, we talked about the North yeah. Coast 500, that's amazing. And then um, anywhere in Norway, you don't have to go way mm. up north to the Lofotens, but the... Um, you know Norway bulges no. out to the west, doesn't it? Those bits mm-hmm. just if you go through Oslo and turn left, there's some amazing roads up there and that yeah. Fjord Norway Atlantic mm-hmm. way up there, that's an incredible road. With some yeah, incredible with the bridges. bridges. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, the Atlantic Highway, yeah. <clears throat> but don't go to Norway if you like your speed, because you will lose your house. Fifty miles. Yeah, or, or indeed if you like yeah. your your wallet full of cash. Yeah, yeah, it's mega expensive, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. a campsite yeah. over there, I think it was about 25, 30 quid for yeah. a night just to pitch like a tent yeah. type of place when I was there. Yeah. It's mega expensive. We, Bloody hell. When we did it, we did it in 2015, and I tell this story all the time, like a six-pack, a six-pack from the supermarket with 26 yeah, yeah, quid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We paid 60 a quid each pack. for a pizza there. <laughs> Jesus. Crazy, it's off the crazy. List. But it makes you realise. It does yeah. make you realise how special the how place is. How much are the butt plugs? <laughs> and on that note, right, that'll do us because we. Th- th- I think there are something like sixty <laughs> comments, questions. I think we on, could on over on. We could probably just keep going, really. But we, yeah. we could, but uh, yeah, I'm not drinking, so uh, yeah, we no, won't. I need a pee now as well. Um, <laughs> right, I'm on just number seven. Uh, yeah, you've been knocking them back, Andy. Bloody good oh, effort. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm into these de- well. Desperados are bloody good. <laughs> yeah, mate, honestly, you, you'll re- <laughs> we will not regret that, but... Uh... I've got a you've stood up. I've been, I've been I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't include I've that on your How to Lose Weight video, Andy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're quite right. <laughs> I'm on. Sign me up. I've been fairly good today, actually. Blimey, is that your Glen Morangie? I've only had a couple of whiskeys. Yeah, I've only had a couple. Freaky. Right. Um, <laughs> well, I think, that, I think that'll do us, boys. Um over to you. Anything you need to plug? Anything you want to chat about? Harris notices. Oh, no. worried about everyone, anything everyone you need it. to plug? Comment. <laughs> 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 Go on, Andy. You 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 plug away, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> That's back to the OnlyFans page. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, dear. Well, thank you very much for having us, Bruce. That's all right. I'm sorry. I'm sober. I, I, I don't I don't like doing these sober. So but, are you, boring yeah. devil? I know. Crap, isn't it? Oh, Let's hope mind. me and Chops have bolstered up your figures a bit. I say. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. I'm giving up. <laughs> I'm giving up. <laughs> Arsehole. So it's been, it feels like forever. It feels like forever since we've seen each other. I know other. it's been so a long what time. What was it? March for us, Andy, and uh, it's February. Yeah, we we want it for, yeah, just, uh, for all of us. What? Oh no, you want their chops, were you? 
Yeah. <laughs> For all of us. Were you there? I couldn't make um, it, could I? No, that's right. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't. It was a shame. No, I couldn't make it. <clears throat> right. and then, then it's like, I couldn't make that. And then this whole COVID thing hit. And it's like, bloody, I was my only chance to actually yeah. get away this year. And I missed it. Yeah, Doubly, I mean, our, uh, our original plan, if you remember, was we were all going to do a live stream from here, weren't we, today? Yeah, we were, yeah. And it, or to, we were oh, going to yes, be at yes, your place now, it, weren't yeah. we? Hassan yeah. and Carol, oh. but no, no, yeah. can't even uh, do that. Shame. I bet you glad, as, as things turned out, Andy, I bet you're glad that yeah. didn't happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. it, as it turns out, I mean, uh, my daughter was tested positive for COVID two weeks ago, and we all had to isolate, we're out of it now, <clears> and... Um, and I don't know if you saw yeah. that bike shed video, or the, I don't know if they did a video, but they did a quiz thing um, that they yeah. put on Instagram. They got so much flack for it being one of the, for having so many people there. I just thought, actually, you know, it's not worth the grief you'd get if you all got together, is it? No, 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 no. no exactly. No, no, it's not at all. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad we didn't. Obviously, I'm glad we didn't, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't so, be getting um, a hog, yeah. I'll tell so, you so, that. So, <laughs> no, yeah. So, so yeah, f- f- uh, myself and... My her indoors have been tested positive. Oh, the wife has as well. Nineteen. Oh, mate, Ooh, blame me. She's got it. She, well, d- during this podcast, during this podcast, she came in into the garage to say she's just had a um, result and that she's positive as well. Georgia, oh. our daughter, she's negative, but um, yeah. But, uh, so we had the test yesterday mm-hmm. just as a precaution because a friend of ours has it. Um, uh, so I just thought, right, okay, I'm absolutely fine. We're all absolutely fine. I'm booking us in for a test. We went for a test. Uh, I would have put money on the fact that we're absolutely fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and anyway, I woke up this morning to a. I had a. I had a positive test. Uh, George is negative, mm. and um, Laura's just had her positive, um, but no symptoms whatsoever until about two hours before we started this podcast, and then I started getting the full um, fever uh, mm. symptoms. You know, fluffy head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so I've, I've I've had the whiskey to try and. Um, the hot toddies you know, clear the airways a bit because it's, it's, yeah. it's hope it don't yeah, get exactly, worse exactly, yeah. just, let's hope you don't get worse then, I know mate, mate yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, no, yeah all, all exactly yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm not I'm well, not being blase about it or anything but you know I feel alright apart from a bit of a bit of a, you know, bit of a cold if you like but, Rich yeah. can I have your VFR say again can I have your VFR I've lost you can I have your VFR <laughs> You want me to leave it to you, Bruce? Please, mate. Yeah. In my demise. <laughs> oh God! I can't believe you. I cannot believe you went there. <laughs> with- but I mean, I've got all these bikes in here. I've got this. I've got this bloody rocket GT that I can't even touch anymore. Yeah, hurry up with the rocket! I've got to have ten I can't days now without touching any of these it. bikes. Hurry up! Wipe it down. Give it a good wash. Well, I sent. It's in I, quarantine now. That's two, I, two yeah, weeks sent, at least. You've got that for now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's just an excuse. I, I, I sent Triumph that, that, That's what he's saying, just so we can keep the rocket longer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's got COVID, and then he can go out riding it. and have to take it back. Sorted. I'm gonna phone up his neighbours. Absolutely fine. Yeah, I sent. I sent. I sent Triumph a message today explaining. Laid it on a little bit. You know, obviously, obviously you won't be able to come and collect it. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping she's probably going to go, just just keep it for a month. It'll be fine. It'll be she's fine. like, no, we'll come. She's like, we'll come in next week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not, we're but not yeah, telling the driver, but machine. we're coming next week. Yeah. Right, lads, <laughs> let's leave it at yeah. that. Um, thank you very much for, for coming on and having a chat. <laughs> Sorry, we can't do it in person, but obviously... Yeah, pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, this is a good second pleasure, best. Bruce. Thank you very yeah. much indeed for the invite. Mm. Great it's, fun. Been, it's been good fun. No worries. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Let's do it again soon. Yeah, yeah definitely. It needs to be a regular Fine. thing. Every uh, couple of months or something, this will get I together. I reckon so. Have, have yeah. It's always good Ten years. Let's do it. <laughs> as a cuddler, as a cuddler, I am missing cuddling you boys. <laughs> Not at the moment. Oh, get, oh, I'll off. give you a cuddle, Rich. There we go. Oh, cuddle time, no. everybody. Oh, he told me left. All right, lads. I'm sure we will chat very soon soon but um cheers for coming on and look yep. after yourselves folks hope you've enjoyed this one sober affair for me i'm not used to this I, I don't like doing these sober but anyway look after yourselves get on out there do your thing look after those that you love but most importantly live your life Woo-ha!